What is up, everybody? My name is Justin Wong, and I'm here with Toph, my man. How are you doing, What's bro? y'all? You gonna leave me hanging? Don't leave no, me hanging. No, not at all. Not at all. Yes. I'm super happy to be here, man. Right. Battle of BC has always been very close to my heart. Close to your heart. And first time doing a, you know, Street Fighter here. I feel like. Okay. Yeah, this yeah. is obviously historically been like a Smash thing, but I heard y'all talking about it on the stream a little bit earlier. It's yep. just so cool when there's that Smash FGC. I love crossover. it. I love it. I kind of like, um, I feel like CEO always brought that. I know Gamo mm -hmm. did it as well, too. And now Battle of BC is trying to do it, too. So I, I really like the fact that we're trying to bring it back together, you know? Bring it back together. Bring it back together. And that's the cool part. And think about the top eight. The top eights, I feel like, is pretty awesome. We got, obviously, Daigo here. So shout out to Daigo for making that long trip. Right, Riddles. Riddles. I'm really excited to see this match. Uh, Daigo versus Riddles. That's the first winner semis match. Right, that's gonna be really amazing. But don't sleep mm -hmm. because Chris CCH is on the other side of the bracket. Yeah, I heard it. I heard Chris CCH was saying he's gonna defend North America, defend, defend Canada, defend Canada. Defend. I mean, he's he's from Seattle, but you know, okay, he's the neighbor. Neighbor. Yes. Neighbor. I look. I, I, I we were talking a little bit before the uh, you know the commentary block started. I used to live in Seattle, and I used to drive up to Vancouver a lot. Yeah. It was like a home away from home. Um, a lot of good times. You know, drinking age in America is 21. I used yep. to drive. When I turned 19, we drove up to That's true. Canada That's the to party. Wage. Yep. And uh, for a lot of locals, I always had a lot of love for the Vancouver Smash scene, uh, of course. And I've even been to the, you know, the VSB venue. So yep. also, obviously, also the FGC locals are really cool here. Um, you see the controllers? They both have uh, hitbox controllers. Uh, Riddles has, like, a classic one. Daigo mm -hmm. got like 50 more buttons Dude, on his. Yeah. <laughs> he got 50 more buttons on his. Daigo That's all I got was to say. the one guy. I remember when he s originally switched to Leverless and he had some kind of monster. And I remember everyone was talking about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He got, a, he got his controller banned. It was, <laughs> it was called the Gaffro Box. Right, I remember this. Because yeah. it was like the whole full schedule. Yeah, full schedule. It, right? it was because he was able to do like Sonic Boom Flash Kick on Will, like <laughs> much easier. So then like Capcom was like, you know what? We need to get rid of that. Right. <laughs> so, but Daigo still kept believing on the leverless stream. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, so did 99% of the other Dude, player base in this game. I right? noticed that with a lot of the Japanese OGs. Like, I remember, okay, because Daigo, speaking of Daigo, he does the Kimono Michi. Yeah, yeah. I remember I was watching that, that one time, it was, I think it was Tokido and Kawano. Yeah. And I noticed, I was like, oh, they're, yeah, they're both playing leverless. Yes. And, you know, okay, Kawano, that's one thing. He's more new school. But Tokido, he's been around the block. He's but, been around the block. Maybe they feel like they need that little extra. Do you play still stick? I play on stick. Okay. Um, but I would say I feel like leverless controllers are so much better on modern fighting games. Okay. So I, I played Daigo like at an exhibition match during Street Fighter 4, and he was using leverless. And I kid you not, it was the funniest thing ever because he didn't know any of the combos. <laughs> but he just forgot every <laughs> Because there's no but muscle memory. It's, yeah, it's no muscle memory. Oh. He's, he's never practiced Street Fighter 4 on a leverless controller before. Sure. So it's just. That's I don't know, cool. <laughs> Right. Now, you Like you know, standing meat, like standing heavy punch. Yeah, meat. He's not quite as good, but yeah, Daigo. Oh, oh the shimmy. Where are you reaching? Because Daigo's teaching right now. That's right. No. Oh, that was good. Play. Let's go, Riddles. What you got? Big combo. Yeah, Perfect this is moment. Boom. What's the mix? Go for the meaty. Mm -hmm. Sandblast, standing heavy kick. Daigo. Yeah, and Riddles showing I can attack if you're gonna miss yours. Is he gonna spend it? He's gonna spend the level three for sure. Yeah. Maybe level two actually. Yeah, beast mode Ooh. baby. Keeping some, oh, you see keeping the crowd. a little bit of, of that stick of butter for the next round. And the crowd is hype. Uh, we were talking about Yo. earlier, is the crowd cheering for Daigo or is the crowd cheering for Riddles? For Riddles, Riddles that's right. I mean, Daigo's got fans everywhere, but Riddles, he's a homegrown Canadian. That's he's more East Coast, but. This is also more of a smash tournament. And that's so, a good point. So Riddles definitely has more fans, I think, right now. 
And, you know, I feel like Riddles, he's being pretty confident with his, like, offense, too. Like Very good. He's pl he's probably playing the projectile game. Perfect parry on yep. the Hadouken. Perfect parry. Okay, but now Daigo got the meter. Daigo also has three bars, so he he'll probably go to a level three. That's a misconfirmed. Ooh. Yeah, this could be big already. Riddles with all kinds of pressure. Daigo, yep. drive rush out of the corner. Oh, that's going to counter hit. Yep, a level three. Not burned out yet, but close to it. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is a big amount. Like, this is a big drive lead for, for Daigo. Oh, man. It's close. Now, does Riddle take the hit to avoid burnout? Oh, he jumps out. Jump back. Able to avoid okay. it. All right, Hadouken. Nice, perfect parry. Yes. Oh. oh this might be checkmate right here, baby. For real. Yeah, oh. with no meter. Yeah, that should be it. Yeah, that's. DP, basically chip, chip damage. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, just that run up, run up uh, DP. That's Rid just gonna do it. Riddles probably could have done level two beast mode, but even then he'd still be burnt out. Daigo, uh, Daigo would have still probably done run up DP again anyway. Like afterwards, right? Yeah, yeah. I was wondering like how much drive, uh, you know, he would get back in that meantime. Yeah. But yeah, tough situation there. Riddles played good though. I mean, it wasn't free. No, not at it all. It wasn't free. Not at all. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Even I mean, at the start of that turn round, third round, he had the um, he had the corner. Yeah. So that could have gone very differently for sure. Yeah. It's just Daigo does have, I would say, the experience on how to crack your defense. So I think Riddles, he might be teching a lot, a little bit too much right now. Mm. Right. Not taking enough grabs to kind of make Daigo confused. Also, right. not confident in the fireball game. He's jumping a lot more than compared to Daigo. That's actually a, that's a really good point. Yeah. I wonder if he even got a little bit more confident to jump in because one of his jump ins. You know, Daigo failed to DP. Yes, that's but true. Sometimes that you kind of remember those little moments. Yeah, but nice. Good, good start right here. That's plus one. Yeah, Over the grab. Luke got the throw loop still. Oh, mm -hmm. but we don't care about that. Yeah, DP is going to beat all of that. I like Riddle's got some good timing with some perfect parries, though. Yeah, he's he's looking really confident in the fireball game. He's yeah. like, yeah, I'll, I'll, go, I'll play the fireball game with Daigo, no problem. Okay, go for the regular parry. Stand fierce. It lingers. So active. Crouch mm -hmm. medium Ooh. kick. Okay. Yeah, that's a big, that's a lot of corner carry. Corner carry, that's Ken, that's the master of corner carry. That's right, yeah, anywhere we're going right to the wall. Okay, yep, he tried to go for a trap right there, standing heavy kick. I like the way Riddles fought out of that corner. Oh, oh. no, 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 Japan invented those meaty drive impacts. <laughs> that's right, that's a good point. But I'm going to be honest with you, that was a great strategy. Because I personally think if you are the age of over age of 30, you cannot <laughs> react to driving backs in the corner. So the fact that Daigo proved me wrong, you know, you are the GOAT. That's yeah, why. he's got that old man reactions, but the actual reactions. Actual reactions. All right, Sandblast, Sandblast. Okay, good combo right here. Doesn't go for the level three. Mm. Jumps out, nice cross nice cut. Nice cross cut, yeah. Oh, oh no. Input error. Yeah, what was that? I think that was a jab. Maybe he just pressed it down for it. That's tough. Yeah, very easy to get accidental DPs. Yeah, because, you know, if you're playing on leverless, right, if you're holding down and you just tap forward, forward, DP ah, comes out yes. automatically. Yes, that's a good point. Yeah, I bet that hurts. Ooh. Tried to burn him out, taking the hit. You can't afford it. Just, man, Daigo just walking up into that crouch medium kick range. Okay. Okay, now you have to react, Riddles. React to something. Ooh. Oh. He tried to steal a turn right there with the back throw. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm really seeing what you're saying, man. When Riddles is on the offense, I feel like Daigo is handling those situations with a lot of wisdom and experience. Yeah, He's a like, lot of I that. know what you're going for. And it's also like, you don't see Daigo being in burnout state. Riddles, is, Riddles has been burnt out both times in both games. That's really interesting that you bring that up, because I feel like that's like, that's more of a Street Fighter Six specific yeah, thing, but specific. he's so good at it, uh, Daigo. Yeah, the, uh, See, the perfect parry. That's such a good way to counter Luke. A lot of people are so good at perfect parrying and drive rushes after that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice crouch mimic. See, he's, he didn't drive rush. He didn't just brainlessly just like, hey, I'm going to just drive rush on any cancelable normal, right? Right, right. Yeah, Daigo's being really uh, calculated about how he spends that drive meter. He's usually up on it. Yep. And he's down to just walk up DP. to that crouching medium kick range and be like, all right, I'm just going to press this. Button. Oh, that was close. The back throw. See, Daigo's willing to take this because look, look at Riddle's drive gauge. Right. Oh, the crouch medium kick, crouch medium kick. He's actually, man, Daigo's gotten so much damage off of just ra little straight crouch medium kicks. Yeah, ra just random hits. The little attention to detail. Mm hmm. Goes for the throw. Crouch medium punch. Didn't commit. Riddle's, what do you have? Takes the throw. Daigo loves taking the throw. Yes. Hadouken, challenge from Daigo. Riddles. Yeah, he's... Oh, Ooh. the OD fireball. I got one more hit in my projectile than you, because I'm spending. Yep. But Daigo probably feels, you know, equipped to go for that because he's always Shimmy. got that drive meter. Yep, that's big damage right there. And the corner. Meaty Fierce, doesn't bite. 
Go for the back throw. Mm -hmm. Daigo's okay because you spent three bars for a throw. Is it worth it? Yeah, again, Riddles, I feel like he's missing some potential confirms there. Oh, Miss oh. Lula's gonna jump in. That was close. For real, just a hair late. Standing heavy kick. Where are you going? Level No, doesn't cancel level three. And Daigo right now. Okay, yeah, back throw. Now you're the one in the corner. Oh, guess for game. One cancel. Daigo can take it. Riddles, you have to make something happen. Just walking him down. Oh! That should be it, probably. Yes, that's a tough whiff. Oh, they, they reset him in combo. Wow. <laughs> he, just let, he just let go of the controller. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah he yeah, probably yeah. just tried. He's like, Daigo not going to drop this. He did. That's funny. Great. Got the range. Yamazaki moves all day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And his long range moves, his flickers, the special moves, it's so fast. You're not going to be able to react to it. It counts as projectile. So even if you perfect parry it, uh, you don't get like that mm -hmm. physical hit perfect parry. To Got get, it. To get a true punish. And Zangief, since I mean he has to jump a lot, he can uh, hold the flicker sure. and get the anti-air version as well too. Got it. So yeah, I mean huh. when I fought Zangief with Ed, I had a field day against the Zangief when I was playing. Ed. Really? Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah, gonna be looking forward to that. I mean that that kind of makes sense. I, I feel like the people, you know, what people kind of say about Ed is like where he struggles is that really up close range. Yeah. Jab not very good, etc. But you don't want to be up close and personal with Geef anyway. Yeah, you want to keep that, him look out. Look how fast that move is. That's yeah, a very real. fast move. For real, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that's crafty heavy kick. That's a nice whip punish, though. Yeah. But Guy Guy, he's kind of he's kind of cooking right now. Uh huh. Nice perfect parry. Ah, uh, no punish. Back throw. Yeah, that was so fake, but it worked out. <laughs> okay, yep. Stand medium kick. Stand medium kick. A special cancelable as well too. It's kind of weird to say like stand medium kick because he doesn't have kicks. Right. Stand, like <laughs> medium flicker. Do I say it like that? Yeah, it's right. It's the kick button. Yeah, it's the kick button. It's the kick button. But it. Yeah, I mean, it, this makes sense, too. I mean, again, these are best of five sets, so if you want to collect some data, like, if this doesn't work out, he can just go back, but it's oh, working out right now. Yeah. Okay, we got, and we got level one. Bro, his Big combos damage. his combos are actually so sick. Looking. I like when he, like, kind of goes goes off the screen. Nice Ooh. shimmy right there, crouch medium punch. Yeah, back that shimmy. All right, I mean, so far, the, the Ed's looking good. Yeah, definitely. Look at look how fast. That's the light kick, bro. That's so fast. It's fast, and it, yeah, it, ooh, okay. Good call there from uh, Guy Guy, though. Yeah, no Oki, though. That's true. Oh, nice jump. I okay. would say Ed does lose to, to just, like, if you have good jumps, he's actually quite bad at it. Because his entire game's a little bit situational. It's uh, that... a lot of recovery when he commits to big no, big moves. Mm. So if you jump the flicker, if you jump the fireball, if you jump one of his big normals, you're going to get the jump in. Got it. Got it. That makes sense. It's almost like those moves are almost, they're almost like mini projectiles. Yeah, exactly. So... But yeah, Guy I Guy, I mean, he's he's getting the, he got the, the the round on the board. Perfect parry. Guy Guy actually has had Forward even throw. earlier, man. When I was watching him earlier in bracket, he had some really good jumping, like that was good a hit jumping confirm time. right there. The hell stab. That's right. Yeah, I mean, when you think about jumpings with Zangief, I feel like if you watch Snake Eyes, you get so much mileage. I think he tried to cancel level two, but didn't get it. Uh huh. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's Ooh, be it. there it is. Yeah. Yep. That's, Yo. the, that's the buff. With the uh, OD yeah. SPD, yes. OD Larry combos into level three now. Cause like it crumples you. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow, nice. Damn, guy guy. That was a sick combo right there. That that was yeah, that was really good. Okay, locked in with Ed. Okay, yeah, not and he did not really spend much time thinking about it either. Right back to the game. I think he really he's like you know what. You got to jump in against me. Right. You didn't beat me in the matchup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't mean I lose the that matchup. That was my bad. Yeah. Yeah, let's just go again. Yeah, see, this is this is tough right here. You hold that you hold that charge right there. That's mm. plus frames. Time, time to hustle. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Get the knockdown. Lariat. What's the guess? Ooh. Yep, safe jump. Ed doesn't really have a traditional DP as well, too. Right. So it is pretty, like, kind of slow. I think it's like 10 frames startup. So yeah. if you do like a meaty jab, you'll block in time. It's just auto safe, right? Auto -safe, like auto yeah. automatically safe meaty. Well, but that that's tough. Yes. See, there we go. The cancel level two. I love this. Does he's gonna do the crazy combo? Look how that's one uppercut. Ooh. Okay, hustle. Yeah, show me mind. what you got. Meaty. Yep, charge again. Oh, this is this is uh, also matchup. You're not familiar with it because anytime you do standing heavy punch into flicker, mm -hmm. it's a guaranteed drive impact. Okay. Guaranteed. That's a. You just see it and you just push that yeah. button. Yeah. Okay. It's more of like right now, it's like Chris is taking advantage that oh, you don't know, I'm abusing it. Is and this one? Is this part. one of those things where if you have level three, you can cancel, but you need level three? Is it one of those or yeah, not even? It's now. It's it's more of like. Think of it as like a it's a fake frame trap or a fake setup mm, okay. where like Ooh. if they don't challenge. You can take your turn. Got it. So okay. like, it's more of like you're stealing your turn back. Got it. But they got to know. Yeah. They got to know. They that was a really know. nice. Yeah, Ooh. Chris D. Stage definitely adapted. I mean, he had the right read, though. 
Okay, heavy punch. SPD, big damage, but no Oki. Yeah, he tried to get there, but couldn't quite get... Oh, my God. Yeah, that range is gnarly. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, oh. wow. What a <laughs> That's, I mean, as a Zangief player, you have to make these reads, right? Yes, for sure. Crumples, text to grab, standing medium kick whiff. Yeah, Chris, Chris back to a that range. Jump again. again. Man. I'm telling you, Guy got the good reads. When you said it. You said it earlier. He got some good jumps, right? Yeah, I guess. And I, I'm seeing it. I mean, that makes sense. That's like the one area where Ed's going to have some trouble. And okay, that, sweet. And, but that was actually an OD whiff punish. Charge, fierce. Okay, light punch DP. Yeah. Didn't, didn't get the follow up. Time okay, just running after it. Yep, time to hustle. Text to grab right there. Ooh, I love that checked. one. Yep. Yeah, good combo. He has throw loops. With the dash, right? With dash or even the command dash. He just has mm. a lot of time to just get back in there. Gotcha. Oh, and that's got to be a missed input. Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. that's oh. guaranteed. Punish counter. Yeah, that's going to be really nice. That's for, a this is a guess for game right here. Yeah. Oh, 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 no. He didn't believe in himself. He could have won. For real. Yeah, just hold that. Take yeah. The, take the grab. Nice tech. Mm, no air to air. Jump. ODSPD. That's for real. Up. Yep, level two, level one. Yeah, makes sense. Guy, guy. Sky's uh, protected. Uh, guy, guy. He said last seed, bro. Yeah. Second seed at least. I'm trying to play Dai Go. 2 1 right now for Guy Guy. I know. That's, I mean, his thing is actually pretty impressive. Yes. Yeah, he doesn't really look too phased in the neutral at all. Like, um, confident. Right? But definitely confident. confident. Definitely confident. All right. Christy CH going with the Luke this time, the tried and true. Sure. Sure. I mean, this, you definitely not a bad matchup either, obviously. It's great. I mean,. Luke has damage. Luke has a sand blast. It's really hard to stop it when you're when you're Zangief as well too. Yeah, and I mean, if you feel like you're getting jumped in on, you know, Luke's gonna have a more simplified anti-air game for sure. He's got a more traditional DP. Oh my God, the whiff punish. Yes. Okay, too slow. Okay, nice. jump Crowd in. Fierce. I love it. And you see how much damage that Chrissy Z is taking off compared to Ed. Yeah. I feel like with Ed, you're like. He's doing these little, like, tickles. Right, right, right. You need, like, the real setups to get the max damage. Yeah. Luke, is, Luke, you just look at your light bar. Where did it go? I mean, that's the that's the main character. That's, yes. that, 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 that's main character energy right there. Yeah, for real. That's the case. He's on the box art. <laughs> he is literally. Wow, just throw it out. Heavy punch knuckle. Uh-huh. And then just sandblast. Yeah, not not really even needing to. I'm just going to keep you in the corner. Look at that. Even the DPs are just more more consistent. Yes. Oh, yes. but the jumping, though. Yeah, Guy Guy definitely has been consistent with that. Back to the Sandblast game. Okay, Stan Fierce again. D yeah. Yep, Crouch Fierce doesn't go for the DP. That's punishable. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the sweep. Oh, baited. Mm. Yeah, that should be enough. Level three built. Uh huh. All right, two two already, man. Yeah, that Luke. I feel like that Luke game. It went uh, by fast. Went by fast. To Memphis. <laughs> All right, two, two, man. Okay, so Guy Guy now kind of in the back, so you've got to make a little bit of an adaptation here. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. I'm like, I mean, don't stop jumping in. I feel like that's like his ace in the hole. Yeah. Especially in like clutch scenarios, right? But like when you have to figure out like how to land these SPDs, because he's, he's actually getting these SPD attempts, Oof. but he's missing the input. That's why you see those random jump backs. Or the jump random jump, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's really tough when it happens in tournament, because you're like, well, that's not even... I had the right idea. I just messed up. Nice cross yeah. there from Chris. No, there it is. Punish That's counter right punish. there. Big damage. Yeah, Chris. Not oh, I think he just paused. He didn't even drive rush forward there. Yeah, can, can, you can get Oki there, right? Uh, not really Oki, but usually you just want to close the gap to make you scared. Sure, to do sure. something. Yeah, but you now Chris CCH just burnt out. Take in with okay. grab. One more. Ooh, standing medium standing kick. Medium kick yeah, I'm kind of curious uh, what guy guy tried to do there. Yeah. Match point for Chris CCH. Okay. Already with that throw. Perfect parry. I feel like Guy Guy's thinking about maybe jumping if another Sandblast was coming. Yeah, it's okay, kind of tough. Because Guy Guy doesn't have level two yet. So, I mean, Chris C. Stage can believe with just more Sandblast, more projectiles. Mm -hmm. right? And, mm -hmm. But right now, he's just taking the, the grab, bullying with grabs. Drive yes. rush direct, drive rush grab, crouch medium punch, I'm plus one. Right. Now I got level three, so next touch I win. That's true. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's an easy anti-air. Okay. Oh. Siberian, Siberian Express. Express. Where are you going? Oh my not, goodness! Not enough though, but I mean it's 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 pretty it's pretty doomed right now. Yeah, this is tough. Zangief needs to land a jump in and then reset to level three. Oh, but you're oh, burnt out. This is really yeah. 
Oh, okay. Shot. Nice sweep. You have a shot. Oh. oh. He said, I risked it all. Yeah, that wouldn't have chip killed, would it? No, it would not have. I don't think so. Right, so if he blocked that, he could have got level three, won the game. Cause that yeah. Well, won the round because that would have been CA. Right, right. Oh, yeah, that's true. But, I mean, Christy CH is just it's really good at kind of like distinguishing. Like, you know what? I can afford it. Because even if you spend a level three, uh -huh. you're not in the final round. You won't have it. Right. So I'm gonna play the neutral. I'm gonna win the neutral right. because you're gonna have to take the risk jumping in. I have these fireballs that you can't go through. So ultimately, I, I like the idea right there. Yeah. Uh, but for Guy Guy, I mean, he played good. Three two against Chris CCH. I mean, that was a fantastic Zangief run. To be honest with you. For real, yeah. I feel like, um, yeah. I mean, he got through the Ed. Uh, definitely showed, you know, showed some good stuff. I, I don't know. I was very. Definitely very impressed. I mean, especially if this is, I don't know if Guy Guy's like, I don't know if it's his first tournament. I mean, we got the report I, that I, it was his I'm last seed. That sure. kind of almost feels like people yeah. just didn't know. Yeah, maybe they just didn't know. Like, I'm, I feel like he's probably played a lot. Probably. But people are just like, yeah, I don't know. So we're just going to put you mm -hmm. wherever, random seed, whoever. So RNG. It's not like they meant to, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, we're Guy Guy, last seed. Last seed, yeah. It just happened to be that he was last seed. Right, right, right. But, uh, yeah, still here. In, um, I guess it would be now loser's top six. Yep. So, yeah, top so you can get some damage, do some damage in this loser's bracket. Yeah, I think we have, uh, I think, White, uh, Wes and Galaxy Butter. Galaxy Butter, yes. Yeah, and these, uh, both of these players, they were in uh, the, the, the regional finals, uh, like for the top Ooh. eight for, for Canada, for Canada West. Got it. So, yeah, I mean, maybe, I don't know if they played against each other in that tournament, but for sure during the whole qualification for the World Warriors, I'm pretty sure they ran into each other multiple of times. Makes sense, yeah. Right. And may may continue to run into, into each other for you know for next year and onward. Um, so West Dance on the is it Marissa? Yes. Marisa. Marisa. Galaxy Butter. Like I don't know what character he mains now, or does he still play Ken? I think I saw him playing um, Ken on the stream earlier. I believe. Okay. Yeah. It's either Ken or Luke. Yeah, Ken. I mean, it's those are not bad choices in yes. general. But yeah, <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah, but if you guys are living in the Vancouver area and you want something to do, come down to Vancouver. Come to uh, Canada Place, the Convention Center. They're having a big Smash tournament. Mm -hmm. They got side tournaments. I think they got RPS back here. I think one of oh. these days as well, too. They got merch. So if you're looking for some merch, they got amazing stuff over here. So come through. If you're in, if you're in the area, if you're in town, you know, get a spectator badge and, you know, support the community. It's really right downtown, too. It, it is definitely, like, in the heart of downtown. It's right on the water. I mean, right you, the sometimes water. you see that we, we're doing these kind of shots of the venue, and it's just one of the most beautiful venues I've definitely been to. Yeah, people just even just, like, even when I was coming here uh, from, my, from, my, from my ride, mm -hmm. I saw people just outside, and they're, like, yeah, just taking pictures of, like, the mountains and the oh, sea. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a great picture for... Family shots, Instagram, mm -hmm. whatever you want to do. That's right? right. Instagram, straight flexing for the gram, for the gram. Um, RPS tournament. I did not know that. Have you ever entered an RPS tournament? No. Is that okay? I, I hosted was... one. Oh. Yeah, I was at an event that like they wanted me to host. They okay. Me... So I'm just like rock paper scissors shoot. Rock, oh, paper. okay. You were the officiator. Yeah, I was the officiator. Okay. It was it was intense. It was fun. okay. It was yeah. Fun time. Who won? I don't remember. It was, okay. It was a uh, someone from an anime convention. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's not, not like an FGC okay. or anything like that. That makes sense. But I think overall, just having that type of thing, because anybody could play. Anybody can cook. Right. Anybody RPS, can yeah. Cook. RPS, anybody can cook. Your dad can cook. Your mom can cook. That's right. Right. You got a 33.3% .3 chance of winning any given round. Do you think there's like... Mathematically. Uh, do you think like you can react to that? Like, Dude, I think some, I mean, I think some people try, but you can kind of... Because some people kind of try to OS it, you know, because yeah. like... If you're throwing rock like this, right? Rock you, and scissors. Yes, but or you rock. can only go in one direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't go from paper to rock. Yeah, you, you can. see what I'm saying? So I think there might be a little bit of a meta there. I don't know. So I had somebody from like New York. Yeah. Where we play rock, paper, scissors. He instead, you know how we do like this, right? Rock. Uh -huh. Go like this. Oh. And I'm with like, the what, what, yeah, he's just swinging the wrist. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like rock, paper, scissors. I'm that's like, crazy. Yeah, the camera's not on Justin right now, but imagine, yeah, he's like, imagine you're drying your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he's like doing. Like you're flinging water off your hand. Air okay, dry. That's air smart. Dry. That's uh, smart. That was, I was like, that's weird. It is weird. <laughs> but maybe it's that psychological edge that takes it over. The, oh, okay. So we, uh, Galaxy Butter, that makes sense. Locking in the rest sheet. Yeah. Kind of a rare, I suppose, sort of a rare matchup. Rashid versus Marina. I, I fought. Galaxy Butter online, and I was mm. like, oh, he plays Rashid now. Okay. So, but I thought maybe he was just experimenting because Rashid is more of a, he's been a popular character as of late. Yes. Just because uh, Yasar, the level two. Yep. Uh, it's very good. 
is very strong. Definitely. It definitely does more damage than his level three combo. Right. And right. the fact that you can build meter while the level two is on screen. Yes. It's really good because let's say you take the throw and then the, the, the tornado is still on the screen. You take another throw. That already builds half your bar. Wow, the yeah. The throws yeah. give you a chunk of meter in general. Makes sense. So if you get take if you get hit by four throws, you might as well have another level two. Right. And that's the kind of yeah, I, I definitely heard, you know, some people were kind of talking about this. Like, yeah, should that be changed with Rashid? You know, that's definitely like a but I don't know, yeah, like you said, Rashid I think he was kind of a little bit flying under the radar when he first dropped. Yeah, everyone's like, Oh, he doesn't do enough damage, he's stubby. Uh-huh. Uh, uh huh. But I mean the thing is it's a, it's all about his utility, his speed, his mobility, the stuff yes. that he can do. Like, it's really tough. He, I think, I know he wasn't, like, a big benefactor of the bus, but they, they made his DP a little bit more reliable, right? His uh, OD Mixer. OD Mixer, okay. OD Mixer. Okay. Okay, maybe we're maybe fixing something. Yeah, OD Mixer, um, they said they buffed it. But, yeah, because OD Mixer was pretty bad. It was pretty bad before the patch. Like, you just get jump in, smacked. I've seen so many clips. Like, Gachi Kun. Yeah. Yes. The sadness in his face. Oh, um, yeah, it's <laughs> great. <laughs> his, his, yeah, his hope just gone. But uh, yeah, that, that was definitely something you saw a lot of Rashid players kind of, I think, rightfully sort of complaining about. But yeah, hopefully that got touched up. Yeah, hopefully they're having a better time with Marissa, that. Marissa, I mean, that's mom. That's mommy muscle. Yes. And uh, she, if she hits you, it's gonna hurt. If you it's try to wake <laughs> up and she baits a DP, you lose the game, right? Lose the round. Yeah. This is where it's gonna be tough, though. I mean, she's her defense not the greatest. She's not obviously her moves a little nice. bit. Oh, nice with punish on the Gladius. And there. that's such a good with. That's such a good punish counter against Gladius, man. It's an, it's an, it's really good. Yeah. All right. Command throw. Where are you going? What are you gonna do again? Stand me up, kick. Mm. The neutral button. Yes. Oh, the trade, trade. The Superman punch. Oh, okay. The jump in the counter. Honestly, like I think neutral jumping and in the corner jumping back like is pretty good against Marissa in general. Yeah, it is. For that exact reason. Oh, but you're burnt out. This is what Marissa wants. Yes. Oh, the double jump. It's so hard to chase down. Yeah, for real. And now they're both burnt out. Watch out for the ego spike. Mm -hmm. You got. You, you need to react with level two. Ooh, yeah. Light, light mixer. That's a tough spot right there when you're just living on a pixel. Yeah. Okay, Superman punch. Yeah, Staying looking for heavy. the perfect parry. Okay. I respect it. Tries to bait out the OD Mixer. Doesn't bite for a Galaxy Butter. Ooh, Ooh. yeah, looking to react to something. There it is. Where are you going? Boom, look at the chunk. It's just, uh, it actually does a lot of damage. It really does. Yeah, I didn't even like look directly at the life bar until you said it. Yes, it does. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Oh, Galaxy Butter did not believe in himself right there, that crouching medium kick. Yeah, that could have been something. Yeah, Enough plus, hits. Three hits. Okay, charge it. Standing heavy. Yeah, and but. I feel like, ooh. Galaxy Butter is going for a lot of perfect parry in general against these special moves. Yeah, it makes sense. Definitely. Hasn't quite gotten it yet, but I feel like once he does. It helps. I mean, like, it's it's like a, it, it just builds two ways. If you get the perfect parry, splendid. Mm -hmm. If you don't, my drive gauge doesn't get hurt. Right, yeah. So no harm, no foul. But okay, that's gonna be a round on the board for West Dance. Does not have to spend the level three to do so. Still is level one on the board. Yeah, yeah. Level one, I mean, nobody really uses Marissa's level one actually at all, unless you find uh -huh. a combo. So Galaxy Butter right now, surprisingly, I mean, he hasn't spent Yasar yet. With, oh, well, there it is. There it is. Yasar, great. What are you gonna do? What's the mix? Yeah, you uh, just gotta respect spin. it. There you go. Do it again. Overhead. Ooh. And we got the wind again still. Get yeah. the throw. Look how much meter like, he got. Yeah, like you said, almost all the way back to having another one for this third round. Okay, not quite in time to oh. get a punch. Oh, no. That's that's not enough yet. And we're going to definitely back off, right? Oh, no. Get the combo. Missed the combo. Oh. Yeah, time to back off. Yeah, makes sense. Now you can just chip damage unless uh, West Dance can react with level two. Yeah, that and that's tough to do. Yeah, yeah ouch. And Yasar alone does a bunch of chip damage, right? It does. It does a lot of chip damage, and it has like the after effect win where your special moves are, are buffed. Uh, and then, so if you need that last little eagle spike or something, or just finish it off, yeah. boom. Or you can even do like mixer because their uh, enhanced mixer is plus on, on block. Right, right, right. Yeah, okay. that's really tough. What's the back throw? Getting a lot of mileage off the drive rush heavy. And the command grabs. Command grabs is definitely, the, so far, the guaranteed damage right now. Mm hmm. Makes sense. And especially in these situations, since Galaxy Butter is leaning really heavily on parry, you can get some perfect uh, or punish counter. Oh, yeah, you're right. Punish counter throws that. It would do a lot. Yes. But speaking of punish counter throws, West Dance lost a chunk. 
Nice back Ooh. dash. Not enough. Not enough. Oh. Wake up back throw. Wow. Do we spend I it? No, not yet. Do we spend it now? <laughs> not yet. Not yet. I get it. You're not confident enough yet. I understand. Yeah. We just wanna we wanna get into that striking range first. Okay, and West Dance does close it out. That was getting really dangerous. It was. He took like three throws in a row there. For real, yeah. Get off of me. Dry reversal. Okay, throw attack. Oh my god, Ooh. just throw it out. Oh, yeah, just gets caught low. Level three? Wow. No. Oh no. That's so risky. For real, right? Yeah, and, and just gonna set up with the yeah, the level two. Oh, he wants to throw it. Mm -hmm. Nice! Oh. Nice! Oh, standing oh. every kick! <laughs> that was a lot of damage just off like not combos, but straight it's ouch! Look, and he's gonna build the level two for next round too. Yeah, wow, this is tough for West Dance who doesn't even have a any meter. Any meter. I mean, what he can do right now is if he gets knocked down, try maybe try to bait an OD mixer, he can win the round just off of that, right? Right, right, right. Nice back dash. Wow. Sky high. Yeah, good presence of mind from Galaxy Butter. Oh, catches West Dance low again. The offense. Oh. Yeah, this is a guaranteed drive impact right here. Yeah, this is, okay. So this checkmate. Yeah, this checkmate it. That is tough. And I mean, doesn't even need it. Just backs up, baits the jump, DP. Yeah, it's tough right there. You got so many ways. To pick pick how you want to win. Do you want to win with the level two and some chip? You can do that. You want to win with the drive impact? You can do that. Yeah, or you, you can, can do whatever you want. Just can't tire them. Yeah. Because I mean, because wow. most people are gonna try to jump out the corner, right? right when when you're burnt out, because you're like, okay, this is, I need to escape. Right. But Rashid, I mean, when it comes to chasing people when they're trying to jump out the corner, he's got the best damn tire. His heavy punch mixer hits both sides. Ah, uh, yeah, good point. Yes, yes. Oh, Gladius, Gladius. Okay, plus frames. Ooh, a lot of drive rush lows hitting. Yeah. By the way, from Galaxy Butter. Yeah, that's a very popular thing that Rashid like players like to do is like drive rush crouch light kick. Crouch light kick, right? That's crouch light kick and combo to crouch medium. Right. And I feel like Galaxy Butter isn't even really getting the confirm every time. No, but he, yeah, he's, he's, he's just doing it. Right. Okay. Side Ooh, switch. That's a Ooh. Combo. Nope, safe jump. I don't jump. think so, right? Yep, safe jump. Yeah, that's going to be the round. Like I said, wake up level one is not... It's not good. What's the... It's, it's, startup it's, is just... It's, it's, a, it's just for combos because... It has armor, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that means the start of it is quite slow. Got it. Yeah, that's that's just tough. And even then, it doesn't really work properly as an armor move. I feel like people don't really do it. Yeah, they don't. If you see it, usually it's like they do it because it came out by accident because of the right. of the input leniency when you try and do Superman punch. Mm. You just might get accidental level one. Yeah, that's tough. Okay. Oh, yeah, this, this is West Dance's moment. Yeah, this is your moment right here, West Dance. Marissa players love fighting people against when they're burnt out. For especially in the corner. Don't let, don't let him jump out. He's about to build it back. Yeah. Oh. oh. And gets the the crossover. Yep. To add insult to injury. Oh. There oh. it is. GG's. That's tough. And he got level three if he wants. Whoa. Oh. No, that was the wrong combo. Could have kept it really he, simple. He definitely could have. I mean. <laughs> okay. Level, okay. Okay. Don't throw level two. Where are you going? Not enough. We Man. have to go for the chip damage attempt right now. Uh, oh, yeah. but gets hit by the wake up level three. This is picture perfect right here. Yes, it is. Uh. One of the level threes you see a little bit less often, like you were saying, level two is just so much more common with this character, but yep. that's one time it's definitely going to work. And yep. that's definitely chip health too. So you can't just block and bait that either. Yeah, 100%. Like, the if you block that, you would have lost. You lose, yeah. yeah you level three does too much. You, you would have had to make a read where like, oh, he's going to wake up level three, I'm going to just jump. Right. Right, can, that's the only way. Can you make a read and do your own level three? Is that even a thing? I'm, I don't know so how that works. Sometimes some level threes will beat, like if you do a second time, it'll win. Right. That's the that's how it worked in four and five. Okay. But sometimes in six, it does not work like that. Okay. Uh, I, so that's something that we just have to lab out <laughs> to see if it, if it works. If, 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 the, if uh, Marissa's level three will beat Rishi's level three. But the best option, I think, I mean, Wes definitely had the idea of like, okay, you block this, I chip you out, uh -huh. I win. Right. But uh, Galaxy Bud is like, well, if you try to chip me out you do or anything, block this, right. my level three wins. Yes. Yes. That's just kind of the light bar. Well, I mean, and to be fair, Galaxy Butter kind of already had the round as a little bit of a strange combo choice. Yeah, exactly. Um, with the driving. I mean, he could literally, I think at that point, he didn't even need 
a starter. He could literally just do raw level three. I think it would have killed. I think he tried. Yeah, I mean, you're right. I think he tried to do mix light punch mixer into level, into three. level three. But the cancel window is pretty fast. Like, you kind of have to mm -hmm. mash it. Mm -hmm. Right, because you need to do it like on the. How many hits is the I light the punch mixer? I think the first or second hit. Right. It right. can't be after the third hit. Makes sense. Yeah, so that's actually. I find that input pretty hard on stick. It is. I play level so it's, it's I, very easy like, at leverless. <laughs> yeah, you literally have to just kind of like mash it real yeah, fast. Yeah, you got to do the, yeah. Yeah, no. it's more of a really fast motion. And uh, But, I mean, Galaxy Butter, he really showed his, uh, Rashid is aggressive. Really aggressive. Yeah. And just full of confidence, which is great. Definitely. And, you know, in the rare moments, I felt like he was mostly on the offense. But in the rare moments where, I'm, I mean, there was even that moment where West Ends had the corner. Uh, Galaxy Butter was burnt out. That's everything you could ask for as a Marissa player. Yeah. Like, that's like your dream scenario. And Galaxy Butter won that scenario. He actually got a, weathered the storm, got a perfectly timed jump out, and even got a crossover. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, True. So, yeah, just kind of was the better player in that set, I would say, overall. And yeah, I mean, the Rashid looks good. The Rashid does sure. look good. Okay, good. Now, um, now we got uh, Mortsy. Mortsy. Mortsy's Manon. Manon. A Manon. Level five medallion is always the um, is your main strategy. There's no other strategy yes. besides that when you're playing Manon. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, it's always getting the grabs. You got to make sure everything works out. Um, the thing about Manon, she has also lots of great, cool stuff. Like she has, if you're burnt out against her, mm -hmm. or her standing medium punch is kind of like a little, it's kind of like a little bootleg infinite. Yeah. So yeah. it actually works out pretty well. Like the only way you can win is if you super through it. Uh, but if you press any like button, the stand medium punch will trade with your light, and she can com com combo conversion off the trade. Right. So, that makes sense because yeah. it's got that pull-in effect. Yeah. The little vacuum. Oh, this guy is a stick player. Shout outs to you, bro. Okay. What kind of stick is that? Actually, looks nice. Yeah, it's kind of. Uh, look at this trader Morty right here. <laughs> yeah, I can't even. I mean, look how many buns he has on that. It does look like you know. I was thinking he has that. He an extra up button. An extra button up for there. Up, yeah. Is that because that could be a drive? Impact, I think that's. Yeah, or? I think that's for like maybe like L three or R three. Got it. You know, on Street Fighter Six, I, I did the thing some players did where they, um, for the eight buttons. Yeah. I put drive impact and drive parry on the left two, and oh. I switched my attack buttons over. That's so smart. I always got my finger. Yeah, because you could reach. Yeah. Because it's it's easier with a thumb compared to your pinky. Your pinky. Yeah. And for like drive impact, you don't want any, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. so my, I kind of like it. Because, yeah, my, my pinky has no dexterity. Y th that makes sense. That's just, I think that's just most people, you know, unless you're like a godlike piano player. Yeah, a godlike piano know? player. And you got those like pinky muscles. Because most of the time, maybe if you're games, a rock climber. A rock climber. You know? I think it's more like fighting games are usually with the six buttons. Yes. We never really use eight buttons. Some fighting games, four buttons. Four buttons. Persona yeah, 4 some. Arena? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 four buttons. So, but now, these days, we've got buttons on. Daigo's got, you know, the whole. He's got buttons everywhere. He got his buttons on the shoulder, too. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep. All right, so I think we got Manon versus Ken going on here. Okay. I mean, definitely, obviously, great matchup for Ken. You know, can't really complain. Yeah. Um. It's gonna I, be love, a lot I of love this Manon outfit, by the way. That, that one's I'll, sick. Oh, I'll, costume 3 from Manon is amazing. Yeah. It, it kind of like makes her look like a, not like a pirate, but like an admiral. Yeah, type of thing yeah, from, yeah. You know, like a, like a, like like a One Piece one, thing, yeah. you know, type of thing. For sure, yeah. Oh, Marwan is cooking, though, with that Ken. Mm -hmm. Ken, obviously, I mean, yeah, like, obviously got minorly touched up with the patches, but barely, I think barely affected. Yeah, it didn't really change anything. Nice. Yes. We got, that's two. Yeah, we're building them up. The crouch community is such a good normal right here. Okay, that should be enough. Goodbye, spend level one. You may as well, yep. Yep. Mm hmm. Efficient. Marwan. Yeah, that was a good combo. Did I'm glad he didn't spend level two because that would have just been way too many resources. Right. Yeah, it'd be wasteful. Okay, Fierce Fierce, bring him in. Oh, yeah, we're not taking no mix. Yeah, that's one way to just, I don't want to deal with this at all. Okay, go time. No DP cancel there. Huh. Here I come. Ooh, Stand okay. Stand punch. Yeah, yeah. Marwan press something. Yeah, the one thing about the Manon is like, she has ways to get through fireballs, but they're not as consistent compared to other characters. Right, they're, it's not like spin knuckle or oh, nothing this, like that. Yeah, this, oh, Ooh, it, it could have been, been GG's. Right, but okay, gets it kind of done anyway. That might just be the tournament jitters from the first yeah, game. I mean, look at him, he's, he's nervous a little bit. A little bit. But Morty is a scumbag, because he definitely woke up with command grab. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, okay. it's one of those options where like it doesn't make sense, but I feel like it's gonna work. Right. I feel it in my heart. 
that is, sometimes you gotta go for it. And sometimes early in the set is when you go for stuff like that. Just get the data. Oh, nice meaty overhead. Boom, boom. Uh -huh. Marwan's cooking. No cross Ooh, cut, no though. No cross cut. Yeah, I don't know. Was that like one of the weirder ranges? I'm not really sure. No, I think cross cut would have worked. Sure. But, but I feel like if you cross cut, Ooh. you know how to, you really know your character. Sure. But you know, sometimes like you can pick up Ken because he's easy to pick up. Right. But you just probably not used to doing cross cut because it's more advanced. Right. That's how I feel. Right. Like what what happened? What that happened was. Yeah, that that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. And yeah, Marwan just scooting back. Down to play the fireball game. See if we can bait something out. Yeah, I mean Marwan's cooking right now. I mean he went three rounds straight so far. Right. Morty didn't really get anything started. Like he's trying to just using Stanley Heavy Kick, and this is kind of what Manon suffers from, like the neutral. Like, it, even yeah. though that's a big normal right there, like, one, it loses to Drive Impact, it loses yes. to, to Drive Parry, yes. it loses to Fireball. Look at that, it whiffs, really big whiff window in general. Yeah, and on, on block two, and yeah, that's just a punish counter on the jump in, okay. Ooh, yeah. yeah, that's getting Punish baited. counter, he didn't, he's gonna wake up level one again. No, Ooh. wake up grab. Just the neutral jump over there. He's gonna build level two. Yeah, so that should be it, right? Yeah, that should be it right here. 2 0 bar one. Uh, Look at him. He's, he, he's feeling Chaku. it. He is feeling it right now. Yeah, after that game one, he was kind of shaking his head, like, no, no, no. I, you know, I gotta get those confirms. I gotta go for level three. I see, I knew, I, I thought he would have a pocket Aki. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. Hit me. When I have main Aki, this was my worst matchup. Okay. <laughs> This matchup is hard. Tell me about that. Because you just can't stop him from drive rushing forward. <laughs> He's just gonna get in there and grab you all day. It's it's really tough. Dude, I feel like Ken in Street Fighter Six, sometimes his he approaches like it's not Street Fighter. Yeah. I feel like he approaches like he's like an anime character or something sometimes. He's just in there. So I think what's also really hard is that like <laughs> His, his OD fireball is so strong against regular fireballs ah. because it doesn't knock down. So because of that, he could drive rush forward and get a full combo. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Just locks you in place. Yeah. But I mean, okay. Hey, nice. We're looking good right now. Yep, punish counter combo right here. Uh huh. Maybe Marwan doesn't know the Aki matchup. Not many people play Aki. This is strange. Yeah, if you're not used to it, this is definitely a strange character. And I feel like the thing with her, once she gets going, it oh, hurts. No, she, she got a flow chart. Yes. Oy. And when your light bar is purple, look at that round. I mean, it was what I think four straight rounds yeah. lost with Manon, yep. and then a perfect, perfect out, out, of the no, gate. out of nowhere with Aki. So okay, but this is where Ken, Ken, like if you don't know the Aki matchup, your goal is to just bully people. Yeah, you you bully Aki because that's all you need to know if you don't know the matchup. Don't let her enter her flow chart. Yes, keep her at bay. Keep her at bay. Yeah. Okay, the puddles down. Hmm. Okay, Hadouken right there. Play the neutral. See, Marwan's kind of respecting a little bit too much right now. Sure, yeah, like he could be a little bit more am. More unga, yeah. Uh-huh. That was a well-placed puddle, by the way. He just kind of stepped in that. Yep. There okay. it is, yep. Take the risk. Aki has to take the Ooh. risk. Bear just got the level three. Uh-huh. Marwan's burned out, and you know, Aki's so good at burning oh. people out. Yes. Yeah, that's the infinite right there. She's one of those, yeah, yeah. kind of just plus frame you forever. Plus frame all day. No reaction. That's going to do it. Yeah, maybe just wasn't buffering. I don't know. Right? Because if you if you, if you got a level three, if you got a super bag, you better have already been buffering. Yeah, you already been buffering. Okay. Oh, my God. That was tricky. Yeah, weird interaction. Okay, Staff takes the meaty hit. Yeah, that hurts. Maybe he thought Drive Rush Ooh. Grab was coming. Nice back dash. All right, attack the grab. Yeah, Ooh. drive impact. She's kind of susceptible to drive impacts, right? With her kind of moveset, a I lot feel of like. Her, yeah, because a lot of her normals, I mean, a lot of her specials is only one hitters. Right. So it's really easy to kind of like try to just bash drive impact here and there. Could he have, by the way, could uh, Marwan have just ended if he did, you know, level one or something? Yeah, level or? one would have killed. Okay. Oh. Okay, yep. Yeah. No, that's safe. That's minus. It's your turn. That's a nice combo here. This might be another one of those Aki rounds where we just got the flow chart going. Yep. You're holding it and you're poisoned the whole oh. time. Oh, misses the combo. Should have stand medium punch. Into, into the Serpent Lash. There it is. Combo. That should be it. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom. 
Okay, I mean, Morty trying to stay alive, looking a lot better on the Aki. I know, he must he must feel like, man, I should pick Aki from game one, right? Must, yeah, you gotta feel that way, but at this point, you just gotta focus on the present. We gotta make this comeback. Yeah. Marwan taking that poison damage slowly but surely and Ooh. letting it rip again. Yeah, there's been a lot of baited ODPs. We have to spend level three for sure. Yeah, you gotta go for that. We gotta make our masterpiece happen. My Magnum Opus. Almost burnt out. Are you going to take the hit? Throw a fireball, chase after it. Ooh, That's that was enough. so scary. Boom. Oh, no, he's going to kill. Okay. Gets it anyway. Yeah, he tried. I think he tried. Because <laughs> he could have got the, 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 the puddle ball. Okay, like yeah, the, the yeah, backward, yeah. The two-hit one, like that one would have comboed afterwards. Sure, yeah. Drive rush right there. Suddenly, it's 2-2. Two, two. Oh, my God. Wow, no. I, you know, all these, like, DPs from R1 out of nowhere, once he picked Aki, I'm, like, really confused. It's like he's playing with a lot less confidence. Yeah, because he will see smoke, but no. Like, it looked clean, everything. That's plus on block. Like, now it's so different. It really does. Yeah, it really does sort of feel like Marwan. It's not just the character matchup. It's also that Marwan's playing a little bit worse. Yeah. That's minus. Holding see, all this and that's minus Man. there, too. So he didn't even try to challenge that. Must Yeah, must just not know. How, like, un is it punishable no, minus? It's like minus two. You take your turn. Yeah, you take your turn. Okay. No drive rush chase down. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a drive rush. There's a drive rush chase down. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, that's looking bad. Man, You're that's in the a corner. Don't wake up DP. Perfect parry. Good choice. Okay. Yeah. Ken graded side switching. <gasps> but the back dash. I'm telling you, back dash in the corner is very popular. Wow. Yes. Wake up drive impact. <laughs> That's honestly, that's one time when you're not really ready to react is when you're the one on offense. Yeah, yeah, So it yeah. can kind of make sense in a weird way. All right, Morty, one hit, you win. One hit, you win. Yeah, this would be a legendary comeback. Oh! Oh, try to chase it down. You're poisoned. Following ball's following. Oh, didn't get the pickup. Let's get it. Nice. Oh, my God, so much stuff. Okay, are we buffering anything? Look, you see the little buffers? For real, yeah, little, little skedaddles. Yeah, Ken. One more, one more drive rush attempt, possibly. Mm -hmm. That oh. is it. The interruption. Mortsy. Mortsy. 3 0 comeback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the Aki pick. 0 2 with Manon. 3 0 with the Aki. Maybe I should have been playing this character all along. I don't know. Yeah, I that mean, really good. It's, it was surprising. I mean, I don't know why he didn't pick Aki in the first place. But maybe it's because, like, yeah, I don't like Aki versus Ken. Sure. It's not, it's not, it's not the greatest, like I said earlier. Mm -hmm. But. You also have to touch the knowledge tech. The knowledge yeah. tech is so important, and it really felt like Marwan didn't know too much about Aki at all. Yeah. Because he was ready for the Manon. He had countered everything from Manon. Mm -hmm. He knew what was plus, what was minus, when's yeah. it my turn, when's it not. Wasn't really the case with the Aki. Aki can be scary like that. I feel like she's a very feast or famine kind of character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And her flow chart's really strong, especially with, like, Fireball chase down with the drive rush behind it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's just, it's definitely... It's definitely one of those things that you really have to be careful about when fighting against Aki. It's funny how you mentioned the game plan of Ken, you know, using EX Fireball, chasing it down, and actually what ended up happening was actually uh, it was the Aki that used that, you know, chasing down the Fireball strategy yeah. to great effect, whereas uh, Marlon was never really able to get that kind of game plan started. Yeah, and, he, and like, you, like you mentioned, he was playing kind of with like less confidence, taking a lot of like these ODDPs on wake up reads against Aki and yeah. I think that really killed like I think if you just focus on like going into like button drive rush going for grabs more going for shimmies more he would have had a better opportunity because Aki doesn't have a really reliable wake up her defense is yeah not it, it, it's funny with you know with Ken and I guess characters like Ken in general just when you're a top tier and you're, you got such strong offense I feel like sometimes you just gotta be like, all right, wait a minute. I'm playing their game too much. Yeah. I need to get them playing my game. Exactly. I'm Ken Masters. I you am know? Ken Masters. Just go a little bit, a little bit unga. Yeah. Like see that. what see what happens. Yeah. You know. This is where it's two two, and this was this was tough right here, right? He gets the jab jab, but gets interrupted yep. because that was most just of the a time. Nice challenge, yeah. Yeah, because most jabs in this game are negative on block. Mm -hmm, so he mm -hmm. just he so he just kind of like okay, I would just challenge right here because why not? What's the worst going to happen? You block my jab string, my target combo, and it's safe on block anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a, it was a a win win situation no matter what. It's like educated guess. Yeah, yeah educated yeah, yeah. guess, right? Okay. Well done to Marwan. Yeah, or, sorry. Well done to Morsi. Going to advance in the bracket. Yeah. And I, I think that was uh, our first four matches. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I believe I believe that's our first four matches, and it's going to be interesting to see because obviously Riddles is still in the 
loser's bracket. Loser side of things, yup. Right, and then Guy Guy, Zangief, amazing Zangief, yes. in the loser's side, too. So I'm kind of curious to see uh, how Guy Guy's going to perform. Because I was really impressed with his Zangief reads, the jump in, mm -hmm. really strong. But winner's bracket, I mean, that's going to be a, an amazing match between Daigo versus Chrissy CH. That'll be a fun one, yeah. Especially Just, with that data you were, you were kind of saying where they've actually had a lot of encounters in the past in earlier iterations of Street Fighter, and yeah, Chrissy exactly. CH actually has the head-to-head. -head. He does. Just don't pick that Ed, and I think he'll be okay there, to be honest with you. Probably not going to I can't. I can't imagine he's going to go Ed against Daigo. I think that would be a bold pick. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yo, we got a shout-out, Fully Loaded Electronics, uh, some of the people that are actually helping make Battle of BC happen for several years in a row now. Fully loaded. They are the main setups provided for Battle BC for the past three iterations. All the switches, PS5's monitors here, they're providing. They have a critical role in making the event happen uh, as a generous partner. And if you are looking for gaming rentals, you got to check them out. Exclamation mark F L E for fully loaded electronics in the chat. I mean, why not, right? When it comes to events, I feel like if you're trying to run a tournament, if you're trying to run like a local, mm -hmm. like, and you need to bring stuff and like people are not bringing it. You have to really rely on fully loaded, you loaded got electronics right there, right? That's right. They're literally named fully loaded. Fully loaded. Electronics. I should, man, maybe I got to talk to because I actually low key, I've been trying to, I haven't, I want to get on that FF7 Rebirth. I don't have a PS5. Oh. Maybe I will talk to fully imagine, loaded electronics. Imagine though. Imagine, you know, get that, me a PS5 nope. for my hotel room or something so I can play some FF7 Rebirth. That would be godlike. That would be godlike. That would be a long rental, though. You know that what? would be a long rental. Yeah, you know how you rent like a, like a book with a library card, you never, never return it <laughs> because you're like taking forever to read that book? That's right. It could be that, like that. Back in the day, back in the back in the day, man, we used to rent get video game consoles from Blockbuster. Blockbuster. I remember I, I was more of a Nintendo kid, but I really wanted to play this game that was only on the Sega, so I got I we rented a Sega Genesis. I had it for like two weeks. Oh nice. So you could do that. I didn't know, yeah. Something you could do. I I only went to Blockbuster to buy like these uh, Street Fighter trading cards. Yeah, they had those. They were, they were selling Street Fighter trading cards. I was a Pokemon kid, yeah. Pokemon TCG. I mean that's the classic. That's still they're still around. Did they got all kind of, the meta's crazy. Were you, know? you like searching for your Pokemon cards when everything was like, yo, they're selling Charizards for big money? No, oh, I need to do that. I've been kind of putting that off because my Pokemon cards are all at my parents' house uh, and I haven't had a chance to do that yet. What if you had a, a 10 out of 10? I don't think I do because I remember <laughs> as a kid, I really wanted to get a Charizard card. And I know, I remember I never got one. Oh, so you don't have one at all. I don't think I have one. I, maybe I got some other cards that are, I know the Lugia, I know the holographic Lugia, I know that one's supposed to be worth a lot, but yeah. I just feel like I've always had bad luck with that sort of thing. So I feel like knowing me, I would spend a bunch of time on it. Yep. And then it would be like, yeah, your whole collection's worth like 13 bucks. Uh, that would... So I don't want to break my own heart. Yeah, that'd be unfortunate. Right, so it, it is what it is. Okay, let's go. Zangi versus Rasheed. Interesting. Yeah, this could, I feel like this could be a, uh, I don't know. So I think uh, because Rasheed doesn't have the longest normals, Zangief can whiff punish very good. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. obviously when Rasheed has his level two, has projectile war going on, yeah. that's when he gets a chance to play. When he's more like full screen almost, yeah. or when he gets the wind charge and kind of gets that set up. Oh yeah, also he does have a, like a, I would say a script where if you follow the script, the flow chart, mm. you could just run the train over and over again. Kind of like Aki in that sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like more of a sort of a set play character. But if it gets a little bit scrappy, yeah, if Zangi get, gets the game plan going, okay, Larry gets a knockdown. Yeah, it goes for that jab combo. His crouching, Zangi's crouching jab is probably like his best tool to start up anything. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Yeah, that was a clean first round for Galaxy Butter. Yes. Antire, get off mm -hmm. of me. We got buffed. And we got you in the corner too. Ooh, stuffed. Yeah. So Stan Fierce has armor, but if you hit if you hit any button that's like goes below the waist, it beats the armor clean. Okay, it's kind of an upper body. Yeah. It's kind of like the I don't know, like the Mano uh, I think Marissa. Yeah, glad. reversal. Yeah, reversal. Almost in that sense. It's kind of interesting. Oh, okay, jump nice. on out of the corner. Didn't believe in the heavy punch mixer there. Ooh, Galaxy Butter gonna eat that command grab. That is minus. Yep. Lucky it wasn't punishable. For real. Okay, medium punch mixer for the combo, short combo. We're drive rushing forward. Did we spend the level one? Is it enough? Uh, oh, snap. Okay. Oh. Looked like he was jumping back. Yeah. It looked like it was a wake up jump back. He was in such a good place where he could have just block, drive reversal. Because when she was in the corner. Yeah, it'd be drive reversal and then forward heavy punch. Yeah. Right, headbutt into drive impact. That was game. 
Yeah, that was kind of kind of an interesting interaction there, but okay, nice sweep. I really like the whiff punish from Guy Guy. He has good whiff punishes with the sweep for sure. For yeah. Oh Ooh. my god. That could have been another whiff punish. Yeah, that could have been big. Armor. Ooh, take the hit. Uh. What the parry? I don't know about the parry though. Okay, do the forward heavy punch again. Ah, mm. uh, there it is. Uh. You're mine. This should be the round. Don't choke. Oh, what are you? What's he doing? Oh. oh, is that the setup? Oh, that's the snake eyes. Shout outs. That's that. Yeah. Usually the drop kick. If you if you do it regular, you'll bounce back. But if you ah. do that specific setup, he stays grounded. Got you. Oh that yeah, because it's a, is it like a different state of the yeah. the crumple? Yeah. That makes sense. So you back up first, neutral jump. Again, yep, go for the sweep again. Mm. Misses the command grab. I don't know if he did like medium or heavy, but if he did jab, the jab has the most range. Okay, so that might have worked. Okay, and now no. already Guy Guy burnt out. Yeah, burnt out right Ooh. here. Taking names. Zangu can't do anything. Doesn't have level two. Yeah, that's a setup. Okay, a lot of damage. Yep. And we might have a level two of our own. Overhead. No, it doesn't get the frame kill. Text it. Yep, just trying to back off so you can set the level two up. No, oh, it doesn't Ooh. get the cancel. Guy Guy is so, like, yeah, little situations that just kind of not going his way. It's more, I feel like it's like a lot of execution errors. Right. Like, because I think every time you try to do Hell Stab and no Larry comes out, I think he's really trying to buffer level two. Uh huh. Ooh, that's a big punish. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is baited. Two. Baited. Look at the drive gauge. Give, give me all the hits. Uh, Thank you. Give me all that back. Thank you. Level three, cash out. Why not? Right, Final around with, here. Hit him with a three, mm -hmm. two, one. Picture perfect, baby. Yeah, look at that. That was half life. Yeah, that was a lot. That stand medium punch elbow is put it in work right now, mm. and that should be enough. Yeah, just spend all your drive. Galaxy Butter 2-0 right now, looking confident. Yeah, guy, guy, like you said, some little drops here and there. Kind of just not ready to play the scramble. Yeah, yeah. Buffering the wrong thing, you know? Yep, that's plus right there with the distance. Going okay. for the heavy punch SPD. Yeah, Galaxy Butter kind of hasn't really been jumping in that spot, so no. that's kind of been working. Yeah, it has. Okay, go for tech for the grab. Playing the neutral. Yup. Throw, throwing these whirlwinds. Careful, though. Yeah, Guy Guy's starting to get in a range. And yeah, Galaxy Butter recognizing that. Nice yeah. armor. Armor up. That's a full combo guaranteed right there. Just smacking that Rashid. Uh. Hell stab. Ooh, ooh. Oh, we, we took it all. Yeah, he spent a lot. He spent everything. But, but I mean, with that, this life lead. That was worth it, though. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, my God. That could have hurt. Yeah. <laughs> he jumped all, jumped all the way into that. Yeah. Light punch makes it. That's plus two. Ooh, nice. Nice hit call. Him. Yeah, hit him with a DDT. That was actually kind of scary because, like, Galaxy Butter is like, okay, I'm gonna just light punch, make sure you all the way to the corner. Right. But he wanted to go for the overhead. He wanted to get some damage in there. Yeah, I feel like if anything, he could have maybe gone for one or two more reps. Yeah, I think so too. You know, just kind of like, it's almost like a take and throw kind of vibe. Like, how long are you gonna hold this? Yeah. Level two. Okay. We gotta build some drive gauge back. We're gonna stall for a bit. Nope. I mean, it's still there. It is still there. Yeah, you still gotta deal with it. Oh my god. Uh. That was dirty. Go low. Oh, safe jump. Yep, that that fight, that world went so good against that charge fierce for real. Ooh, yeah, Rashid's the driver. She's just gonna win out there. Text the throw. Okay, crouch medium kick. Punished it. No, didn't punish the sweep. Just went for the drive rush. Lots of green is happening right mm -hmm. now. Oi! Smack. Shimmy. Smack that shimmy. Yes. Galaxy Butter once again, bringing it to final round. And this time, if it's if it's win, it's for the set. Yeah, match points. Oh. oh! Okay, crouch medium kick. Oh, no, nope. yeah, no confidence stand tire there. That's an open up. I like the side switch. Mm -hmm. No level two spent yet. Maybe he wants a bit more damage. Yeah, that's safe. Level two? Oh, barely the Lariat hit. Uh huh. I don't know what he's trying to do there. Like, I know it's like a, a meaty where it makes him safe, but he's actually pressing sweep afterwards. Yeah, that is a little. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's like fishing for big boy damage. Okay, what do we have? We, we could level two those whirlwinds. It's true, it's true. Okay, Galaxy Butter spending all the drive, so. Oh, that's meaty. Yep, Ooh, that's dead. Level three again. That's the script right there. Yes. Right, we're gonna hit it with the three, two, one. Picture perfect. Galaxy Butter, 3-0. Dang, Guy Guy. 
definitely an impressive run, yeah, impressive he, performance. He played good. He played for good. sure. I would say like he had a lot of execution errors, but overall the game plan of with punishing, just having the forward medium kick at that right distance mm -hmm. was really good. Uh, yeah, I was. I think the literally the only thing we called out was kind of like execution errors on the SPD. Yep. Maybe not canceling the level two, mm -hmm. or even trying to like more perfect parries. I feel like perfect parry is so oh, that's strong a good point. with Zangief because yeah. if you land it. You get a guaranteed throw, mm -hmm. right? And you get guaranteed Oki, especially in the corner. You get guaranteed back throw. Right. And that's what you want as Zangief, right? That's like, yeah, that's something that, like, Zangief, he's not one of those characters that's always going to have guaranteed Oki and, like, the picture perfect setup. So yeah. if you can get that, it's really, really important. Yeah. And that's a good point. I Ooh. feel like there wasn't much parry attempt in general. No. Especially, guys, and, like you said and, that day. Yeah, and I think Galax against Galaxy Butter, who's, like, really following the script of, like, Rashid offense, mm. you really want to. Go for that's, perfect parry attempts against them. Because that's how you break that up. That's yes. how you force them to get a little bit of creative. That's that's actually, yeah, that's a really good yep. point. It's really good. But that was a good set. I mean, Galaxy Ball is cooking. Moving on, guarantee mm -hmm. himself in the top four spots. Yeah. Loser semis, right? And I feel like that is, at this tournament, with, like, Daigo, Chris CCH, Riddles, like, yeah, that's really good because I feel like those three, you know, they're going to make it pretty far in bracket. I feel like those three are kind of, like, the top three favorites. Yep. So Galaxy Butter now is in contention to break that up a little bit, unless, get up in there. Unless Morty calls that up, is true. You know, you know, Vancouver local Yo. champion hero, likes to wear Crocs. I don't know if he is wearing Crocs oh, now. Oh, really? Um, but Maybe him and Daigo could. I heard Daigo is like the biggest Crocs fan. No, I, I, I feel like Morty is a bigger Croc bigger? fan. Bigger? Yeah. Wow. They but, should have a competition somehow. I don't know how they would do like it. Like a Croc off. A Croc off. Like yes. how, how many Crocs do you own? Have you seen Daigo? He's got a video. He's talking about his Crocs. Have you seen that? I, I mean, I seen him slurp ramen. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking about Daigo. It was super funny, man. He was saying like, if you're like an entry level Crocs fan, you wear the safe colors, like you know, like black. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. But he was saying, I got the crazy colors. Oh no, he's not wearing Crocs. Like, he's, a, he's a fraud. He's a fraud. He's not wearing Crocs. Daigo literally might be wearing Crocs. I'm not hundred percent sure. But he was saying, you know, I wear like the, the ugly colors because I, you know, because I'm like a, a bona fide Crocs fan. That's when you start wearing the purple and the pink and the, you okay, know, yeah, 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 the yeah. weird green. Yeah, the weird green. Because you're neon, you're neon green. Neon green, exactly. So you say like that's how much of a Crocs fan I am. I was uh, like, that, damn, that, that's a bit too much though. But you know what? If you get the Crocs <laughs> sponsorship, I'll buy a Daigo Crocs. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, that might might be a partnership waiting to happen. Okay, so. Starting off with the Manon again, not again. going straight to Aki, but... Yeah, I, I think I can see it, because, like, he was able to... Morty was able to beat some other, like, Luke players in bracket in general, right? So, oh, okay. it's like, why not? And, again, Aki versus Luke might be kind of hard. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. A wake-up level one? Nope, yeah, that's that got, baited. That's the that round. That definitely is the round, yeah. You don't even need to spend nothing. You just spend some drive. All right, Riddle's looking strong right there. But Morty does have one medallion of them, so he got two. Yeah. But, yeah, a little something. Blocks the overhead. Still is not your turn. Sandblast. What are you going to do against Sandblast? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Riddle's just down to play at that range. I'm going to try to react to the stuff you can throw out. Yep. And at any given moment, you could have a Sandblast coming for Goes you. Goes for the throw. Throw loop time. Back okay. dash. Nice. Oh, no. Yep, takes the air hit. Yeah. Hey, doesn't go for the command. He doesn't go for command grab Oki right there. But we got three. Yeah, it's starting to hurt. Try, oh, tries to bait. Bait something, right? Yeah. Oh, missed the cancel. That was the round. Yeah, this is getting uh, getting a little dicey. Yeah, that's Ooh. it right there. Morty tried to sneak a dash, but Riddles checked it. I feel like that was tough for Morty because, uh, yeah, with that burnout, that could have been sort of Morty's ticket back into that game. But yeah. okay, Riddles clutches it yeah, out. Yeah, he could have like slowed it down. Like, I mean, because Riddles like was just, just hit burnout, right? Right. He could just medium punch all day if he wanted to. That's, yeah, and that's kind of thing, especially in mid range. Like the one thing Manon kind of suffers with generally is bad frame data. Yep. But with burnout, that does kind of alleviate that a little bit. It so. helps her. Oh, the dash command grab worked this time. Mm-hmm. Here I come. Where are you jumping? Don't hold up. Nice. nice. Jump out. Yeah, I feel like that should almost, okay. Side switch there with that jump. Now it's your turn to guess. Mm. He said, "Where are you going?" I mean, I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. And I like how that. Wow, time he didn't... the wake up command grab actually uh -huh. worked this time. Yeah, that was wild. Because he thought maybe wake up super because it happened last game. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's that's zero. Yeah, plus minus zero. Sandblast is gonna start hurting. Oh, stand heavy kick though. Yeah, that walked into that perfect range. Good stuff to Morsi. Okay. 
Sandblast again, another Sandblast. Forward throw. Ooh, yeah, got caught. Oh, does it confirm? Didn't believe in it. On guard, ooh. Da try to go for dash command grab again. Doesn't spend the level three. Look, Riddles wants to really save the bar. Yeah. But this might, ha this might haunt you. Sometimes you just gotta cash it out, you okay. know, put the put the life the life lead that fear into yeah. him. Now we're at five. Tries to bait again. Once oh. again, yeah. Riddle's not biting. Yeah. Oh, is this enough? I guess. It's not. It's not enough yet. Yeah. It's... I know you bid you adieu, but he's still alive. You're gonna get a bunch of that drive back. So that's something. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, that's a, that's a really classic way with Manon is using like kind of like that meaty that meaty overhead. Mm -hmm. But I mean, meaty overhead does lose to wake ups like ODDP, wake right. up super, even wake up drive impact would, would smack clean. That's yeah, that's true. Manon, a lot of yeah, a lot of those moves just not really cancelable. Yeah, so that's punishable. Goes for the Oki, back dashes out, jumps out. Ooh. Off Heavy guard, push. but you're burnt out. Is that is that worth it? Two medals, you don't get Oki. Yeah, just uh, Riddle's just kind of weathering it right now. Jumps out. Okay, this is what you want. That's yeah, zero. this is scary. Oh, oh no, misses no, the nothing. DP. Uh, yeah, he think he tried to input it, but it just didn't come out. Uh huh. Ooh. Sandblast. Drive impact. Not enough though. Morty has one more chance to live here. Mm hmm. Okay, with the light kick. Empty jump low. And we don't even need to spend any super meter there. Yeah, nice decision making from Riddles. And uh, yeah, with the round and not having to spend any super meter, so. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Riddles with the offense. Now you're in the corner. Morty fighting back, trying to push away the crouch medium kick. Mm. It's not special cancel, so you don't really get too much. Right. The threat of you walking back is okay. Ooh, stuff. St standing medium kick. Okay, with punishes. No, not on that. Nice anti to crouch heavy punch. Get off of me. Oh, this should be the round. Yeah. Cheeky overhead. Didn't even need it, but For okay. Real. Why not? Good uh, decision making for Riddles to decide, you know, I can burn myself out here. I'm just going to go for yep, it. Yep. It's going to be the round. 2-1 now for Riddles. 2-1. Look at Riddles. Look at the camera. And I feel like a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of these scrambles, man, when um, Mo Riddles isn't biting. Like, Morty's trying to bait something out, and Riddles just not biting, just playing confident, yeah, playing solid. Maybe Morty might be giving too much credit. Maybe. Maybe you should just go for it, right? I get it though. If you're a Manon player, it's like you kind of have to make these, these tells, these reads, and he's trying, but more she's just guessing wrong mm -hmm. every single oh. time. And just like that, even right there, kind of get shimmied. Riddles. Match point. The crowd's trying to cheer for Morty right now. Is it enough? Keeping that offense going. Oh, almost a yep. punish there. Doesn't bite for the shimmy though, so that's great. Mm -hmm. Stand jab. Where you going? Mm. Yep, where you going? Stop trying to walk back. Nice uh -huh. attack. Didn't get a cancel, though. Is he trying to burn him out? He is. He got the burnout. Yeah, that's a fat punish. Here I come. And yep. now I got that Manon frame data. That's the infinite, baby. Yes. Do it again. Anti-air. No, that's big. YOLO drive impact. Ooh. Meaty. Oh, okay. Ah. Wow, we got, we're got we so greedy. I mean, but gets the medal, so it pays off. And he got his drive gate. No, Ooh. doesn't even matter. The um, like burnout just ended for Riddles. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that's plus. Oh, oh we that's spend the it? punish. Yeah, we, yeah. Time to go to work. Just get that big life lead. That's fifty. Mm -hmm. To Memphis. All right, but Morty does have three medallions. Ooh. Oh, again, you wow. reach. I, I teach. teach. All right, guess again. Are you gonna fall for it oh. again? Gets hit by them. The yep. god hand out of nowhere from the for, toes. For real. Just wow. wasn't blocking high. Riddles in your top four now. Wow. Four competitors. Yeah, so Diago, Chris, CCH, and winners, and it's going to be Riddles and Galaxy Butter. Yeah. I, I feel like that's a... If you, if you made, like, a chart, like a bingo sheet, like, <laughs> I think most people might, might have gotten that guess right. That's right? fair. That's very fair. It's yes. very fair, right? So I'm, I really love seeing seeing Riddles play, and I'm kind of curious to see if he can hand over Sheen. Th yeah, that's a good question. Because like you were saying, I think, you know, he was really playing a lot of SF6 at the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, not 100% sure, like, after some of the more recent DLC characters came out. Exactly, Rasheed right? was kind of early on. I feel like he might have been He, he was the first DLC character. Mm -hmm. 
But I think more of like Rashid came eventually later. But yeah. even then, you see this like, oh, look at look at the riddles. Like, mm. he hit the shimmy a lot, so many times. Yes, it, it was a lot. And getting shimmied by Luke of all characters, it hurts. Yeah, it really it, hurts. It really pays. It, when you fight against Luke, it's like you really do want to take the grab against Luke. Yes, like it's really important to take the grab against him. Even though like his. Like, obviously, his throw loop is fine, and he can keep going for it. Yeah. But it, it, you can't... He just does too much damage with his hits. He does. I mean, it's all heavies. It's all heavies. It's literally all heavies. Heavies, drive rush, heavy, heavy. Drive rush, heavy, heavy again. And he can be so economical with how... He does it a lot of the time where other characters might need to spend some meter or something yeah, close yeah. around that. Luke doesn't need to. He doesn't. So, yeah, it can really hurt. And I feel like on the flip side, it didn't really ever feel like the, the Manon party got started. It only got started when when Riddles was burnt out. Yeah, that's, that's when true. You got the forward medium punch, and Riddles knows, okay, I can't press a button here. If I try to press a button and it trades, I get a combo. Mm -hmm. so that's when Mort C was mixing up with, like, command grabs, right? Right. But, right. you know, what? I'm, I'm looking forward to the next Winner's Finals match, but before that, we're going to go on a quick break, so stay tuned, and we'll see you soon. Look at that, Vancouver. Awesome weather right by the ocean. And mm. hey, look at the nice buildings. It's a beautiful place, man. Vancouver, you know, I always love how just nice the weather is. It's so green. I always tell people, how, they always ask, how's Vancouver? I'm like, it's just so green. Mm -hmm. Like, it's the air smells nice, mm -hmm. the views, the mm -hmm. mountains. I mean, it's food's good. Food's amazing. It's and it's just a beautiful place to visit. Absolutely, yeah. Especially if you're like, you know, if you're if you're West Coast based not too long of a flight, uh, you definitely owe it to yourself. You should swing by. If you can't make it this year, Battle of BC 7. Yes. Whether you're Smash, FGC, we were talking about at the beginning, we are talking about we got we to gotta bring it back together. That was my favorite because, you know, I feel like for me, um, those years that, like, Smash was at EVO, Melee was at EVO, like, well, that, that, was, that was, like, great. the best because I really like always going to see Yo EVO. Yeah. Um, and because I've always liked watching... For example, Marvel 3, yeah. uh, and and all those years where I'd get to, okay, we got Melee uh, top eights, and then I'd, now I'm trying to watch just Wong win some Marvel 3. So that was always a great time, and and, and I, I love when I get to kind of appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, I, I miss that. Like, I really miss all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. But, you know, let's talk about Parallel. A different type of game. A different type of game. A trading card game. Trading card. Free-to-play, sci-fi, online trading card game. And this bad boy has $500,000 tournament later mm. this year. You can kick off a referral program, join, invite your friends for awards, codes. You know, so if you guys are interested in chat, hit exclamation mark parallel in chat for the referral link. Mm -hmm. And also using that link will help Battle of BC directly and it supports this event. Fun game, unique energy mechanics that greatly enhances strategic depth. So, you know, if you're trying to play okay. the game and you get nice at it, you might as well enter the tournament. What if you win 500, 500K? 500K right there. Right? Yeah, what if so you win? This might be your chance. This is, don't say we didn't tell you. Later on, I don't want to see any of y'all tweeting like, oh man, I wish I knew about this. I could be one of the people winning all that money. No, we're telling you right now, exclamation mark parallel, if you want to get a jump on the competition. That's what I'm talking about mm. right there, right? And, yo, and okay. the winner's finals match time, baby. Winners Daigo finals. versus Chris CCH. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm so curious to see that. So tell me a little bit about like the sets that they played in the past. Now, I know, like you said, Chris CCH actually has beaten Daigo before in early iterations yeah. of Street Fighter. Yeah, early for Street Fighter V. So he, well, he, said, he told me earlier, he's like, yeah, I'm trying to keep my winning record against him. Okay. So I'm kind of curious. For Daigo, I mean, you know, knowing Daigo, he's probably like, I don't know. I'm just trying to play my A game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's just how he is. And we're going to see. I mean, this is probably a matchup that both players are very familiar with. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Luke I versus mean, Ken. Ken versus Luke. I this mean, is like the two most, to me, it's like the two most standard top two. Like, obviously, JP is really strong, but he's a little bit of a, you know, strange character. Yeah, yeah. These are like the two 
godlike Shoto types. Yeah, I mean, this Ken is an older Shoto versus Ken uh, versus Luke. He's like the the new modern Shoto, That's right? right? Super That's Shoto. The little yeah, kind of the poster boy a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, you're not going to be un if if you've played this game at all, you're not going to be this is not going to be a question mark matchup for you. Yeah, you're, you're Ooh, not nice. going to be new to it with punish. But Chris's CH burnt out though. Daigo lets it rip, and that he still has drive gauge. Mm -hmm. That was one thing we kind of noticed. He did so. Daigo did get your beating Riddles. Ooh, plus friend Jinrai, baby. Um, he did beat uh, Riddles, and in that set, he always kind of had a little bit better drive management. Yeah, yeah. So look, even Chris's CH just got his drive gauge back, and they're still even on drive gauge. Daigo even just got more drive gauge now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Yep, just uh, take those plus frames, turn it into a throw. Yeah, and Daigo's okay with that because to him, he thinks that's a waste. Sure, makes sense. Oh, but this should be it. We're going to get level one. Oni oh, doesn't even need to level two. Da -da -da -da. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Not quite. Hadouken, we're going to drive rush forward. Yep. Oh, yeah, and Ken can definitely exploit those, uh, you know, those burnout plus frames. Yep. Jinrai's going to do a little bit of chip damage each time. Okay, oh, what trade. a raid. You know, that was dangerous, because no. if that didn't trade it, Daigo would have won, because he would have built level three there. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Which is crazy, because that was the first That was the first round. I, that's what it comes down to when it comes to two players who's, who's who believes in neutral. Yes, that makes sense. Yeah, you get those, like, full rounds. punish. Yep. All the way oh, in the corner. That was a bad sandblast. Get off of me. Christy CH, the drive gauge not looking good. The chase down. Mm-hmm. Level three. Yep. Uh. He spends the level three early. Daigo's gonna get some drive yeah. beat back to play with. Get all that drive back. Yep. Chris ZH isn't getting none of that back, so he's gotta hold this burnout situation. It's a long one too, right? And you gotta be really looking for opportunities because that drive impact could come out. Yeah. Scooting forward. Okay, cross cut. Cross cut. There yeah, Daigo's ready. Text the throw. Chris ZH still alive. Gets a jump in though. Doesn't spend the level three because he's not confident he's gonna win the round. Right. Next hit now, he will win. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Daigo's not gonna bite though. He knows he can afford throw. He can afford grabs. Mm -hmm. Like you said, Daigo's super down to take the throw. Super down. See, super down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, crouch me and punch again. Oh, the whiff punish. Oh. That was huge. For real. Okay, buffering. No level three. Going through the fireballs. Where are you going? We're burnt out again. How many times have we seen Luke burned out? Yeah. Yeah, Chris is CH really. Oh. Yeah, that was good. That was great. Daigo yeah. played that so clean. For real, right? Super duper patient. Just not like intimidated at all. Yeah, I feel like well, when you see other players, when you have somebody burned out, they go so reckless and be like, oh, I need to cash out now. Daigo is like willing to wait for you to make mistakes compared to him making mistakes. Right. It's hard to be like that because the drive is coming back. It is. Time level, to go to work. Yeah, level three. Mm -hmm. This is just more for damage, not yeah. really for like against drive gauge, really. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, Daigo's got plenty of drive. Oh. Nice. Perfect parry, but doesn't get the punish. Oh, There's a the... gap there. Again with the perfect parry against the Sandblast. Sandblast. Ooh, light, light Sandblast. Yeah. Daigo doesn't bite with the parry, though. Oh, my God. That drive gauge can't take, a, can't take another heavy hit. Oh, oh, but he took the hit. Spends the meter. Yeah, burns himself out. Doesn't commit on crotch medium kick because he doesn't have drive gauge mm -hmm. and the jump. Oh in. my god, Chris CH. You see that? I mean, that jump heavy kick is like a dive kick. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The way yeah, yeah, yeah. angles down like a foot dive. Uh -huh, yeah. It's got a step in on you. All right, Hadouken, standing heavy kick. Daigo playing. Yeah, playing at that kind of, you know, heavy kick kind of range. Really walking in, walking Chris CCH down. Oh, oh. No, with punished by me. Gets punished, kind of grab. Yeah. Still good. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Kind of runs into that one. Nice. I like that string right there. Yeah, right. Just ends it in standing medium kick. Yeah. Let's get back to sand sandblast range. Yeah. I'm could, trying to play neutral. You can tell Chris is just kind of like playing a little bit slow. He realized maybe like I'm putting myself in too many scenarios where I burn myself out. Mm. So he's playing a bit more slower. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. No cross, no DP. Kind of for both of them. They both had kind of one jump in that didn't get anti air this yeah. round. Okay, goes for a throw. Sandblast. Back to the projectile game. Nice, oh. level one. Oh, oh but not quite. Because it's not projectile involved. Yeah. It, usually that does work, but he was too close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or he reacted too late. Too late. Right, right. I mean, I like the idea for sure. Yeah. But um, we just need a little more distance on that. Too slow. Yeah, and you can see Daigo. Yeah, right there. He just 
takes it, right? Yeah, he's, he's gonna like, take the throw. He's like, whatever, bro. If you're gonna go into buttons, then that's cool. Yeah, do do all your block strings, man. Okay, my turn for throws. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, look at that. He doesn't wanna he doesn't wanna lose the corner. Right. Walk up, wait. But he loses it now. Meaty. Nice perfect parry. Tries to walk in because he was minus, but Daigo presses the crouching jab there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Nothing there. Stand like kick. Good whiff punish. Do we spend it? I mean, there's going to be damage either way. It's a decision. Okay. It's a decision. Yeah, I mean, it's it's your call. You do get a lot of drive back. You are down around, though, so yeah, this is... It's, 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 it's any hit can win for both parties. Right. Uh-oh. Oh! oh! Bro, that was a Hail Mary. For real. The, there was no, Daigo was not close. He even he was like, bro, what? He was like standing like, oh. <laughs> He's like, Nani? Hello. This, Nani? Nani? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we are OD fireballing right now. Yeah, too slow. Let's see. Oh, Daigo pressing a button there. Yeah, I think he tried maybe like try to backdash out. Again, oh, maybe, yeah. why that jump heavy kick hits like a dive kick? <laughs> yeah, such a good angle on that. Hey, Hadouken. Nice. I like the perfect parries. Canceling mm -hmm. the sandblast. Maybe seeing if uh, one of them will EX and kind of just decide to end it. Yeah, right? Okay. Oh. Yep. Counter hit combo right there. That's it, yeah. Doesn't fall for the shimmy. Whiff punishes it. That's a nerf. Sandblast. No, okay. Yeah, yeah, maybe a little bit too far for a DP right there. Yeah, he was like, I'm already walking back. Maybe I don't trust it. Okay. Oh, that's going to be the round. Yep. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, even D Daigo was ready to do the, the the full optimal with the crouching combo with the dragon land. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He didn't even need to, but he still did it anyway. That's that professionalism. Yep, he's a professional. All right. Ooh. Goes for the fireball for the perk. Nice perk pair from Chris CCH. Uh huh. You know, I, I feel like something has changed. Right. It seems like I did mention Chris CCH is playing slower. But is it really the right call? Yeah. This is, this is more of like Daigo's style. Daigo's more willing to play. There's no like weird things, weird scenarios, weird situations, weird forceful situations. Because against someone that is probably better than you in neutral. Right. Like you want to put him in uncomfortable situations to get the party started, right? To even the playing field. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the kind of the set play going. It's funny. That's kind of one of the things people used to say about Daigo, like, at the start was, like, he doesn't really play Ken the way a lot of other Ken players play yep. Ken for okay. that exact reason, okay. but... It's working out right now for Chris. Uh-huh. Yeah, Daigo burnt out. Yeah, Rare footage. Kick. Okay. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Didn't believe! Yeah, that could have been something. It could have been. All right. Daigo with the drive gauge back. If he hits you, it's going to be CA. Okay. Nice. Good reaction. Yeah, that, get off me. That's a great counter. Two bars and three bars. And now we got level one back. Oh my god, wow. the walk up. Just walks him down. I know, right? Okay, yep. but yeah, again. again. Too close. Uh, right idea, but just too little bit too late. I was yeah, that's a, that's tough because uh right idea both times, but no leniency. Oh again, a DP that gets punished. And he's dead. Yes. Okay. Really? Yeah. Wow. That was an interesting decision. He didn't like, he didn't need to do that. Right. He was in the life lead. He was winning. But that's the thing about Chris CCH's gameplay is that like, play solid, random bus out. Mm. Right? Because he thinks like, you're thinking that he wouldn't do something like that. <laughs> yeah, I feel it. Yeah, I've been playing solid dude for the last 30 seconds. You're not going to see this one coming. Yeah, but Daigo, I mean, if you watch him play the whole game, he plays solid neutral 100% of the time. Yes. That's kind of his philosophy. Yeah, He's like, philosophy. I, I want to win without making the reads on you as a player. Yeah. I just want to play my game, and my game's just better than your game. Exactly. I'm just more solid. And right now, Daigo's running away with it again with the wake up, and Daigo's okay with that. Yeah, for sure. And to die, I almost feel like that's like data. It He's like, data. oh, okay, so you're still doing that, huh? Okay. I, I don't remember that for the next round. Right. I don't remember that one. Perfect parry. I might block the next one. Okay. okay. That should be enough. Level two? No, level one. Level one. Just like that. Chris CCH warming up, warming mm -hmm. his hands up. On the verge of evening this up 2-2. Two, two. That would be, be clutch. For real, yeah. Okay, yep. Takes the throw. Understood. Yup. Takes the throw. Understood. <laughs> yeah. We're literally the same scenario. Back and forth. 
Yeah, they're definitely playing that neutral. See if he can get just neutral jump. Is Daigo gonna come forward? No. Yeah. Again. Takes, takes the, the throw. throw. <laughs> but Chris Z's drive gauge, that's not it's not looking healthy. Ooh. But he spent it. That's a punish. But now you're burnt out. That's right. Against Ken. Okay, and we're just oh. gonna go into level three. Coming at you. Daigo will always spend the bar. He's not cheap. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's not waiting for that. That's right. He will pay the bill uh -huh. no matter what because he knows he's going to make that money back. Right. He knows he's good for it. Yeah. I got that credit line. Exactly. And now you got to hold these plus uh, frames. That cross, cross cut. cut. Nice. Nope. Tries, yep. yep. Tries to bait a shimmy. It's just the longer you hold this, man. Ship damage. Yeah. Oy. I wonder if CA... No, it wouldn't have killed, but it would have definitely took like a chunk. And then you're getting, and then you're getting out of burnout. Yeah. So yeah, that could have been scary to go for, I guess. Yeah. But but now it's your tournament life again with the wake up ODDP. They have been sort of working, funnily enough. Even though early in the set they weren't. They worked, but the ones that he that did not work are the ones for the guess for game. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. enders, the clutch ones. Daigo might be he might be saving that, you know, saving yeah. the read. He like he might be. We'll see. Okay, Chris CCH, we have to spend the bar right here. No, we're not. Mm. Oh, but you win. Chris CCH wins this. G oh, no. Oh, my God. That hurts. That was the game. Wow. He would have won. And Dai goes, and he's getting out of. There it is. Okay. The whiff punish. And Very game. nice. We're going for a final game, everybody. That's right. We're taking Daigo to Memphis. He maybe never been there before. Maybe not, but they got good ribs. That's, that's right. Wow, that was really clutch from Chris CCH. That was going kind of south and it got a little bit spaghetti too it did. with the drop it got Daigo the bus out that's true yeah okay Daigo got the corner again oh my god Ooh. beanie fierce ouch sure you can yeah that's a full combo that's a lot of damage man. it is again with oh the my god throw. oh dude Daigo literally guessed right every time okay no full combo there side switch text the throw wow Daigo okay offensive throw attempts yeah, overall, I would say not really going for throw techs. Yeah, right? So. Okay, let's see what's going to happen here. Ooh. Watch medium kick. Yeah, well timed. Wow. Oh, he, he, he ran let, all the way in. Yeah, he let that linger. For real. <laughs> okay, sandblast. Okay. He can't really afford. Mm. Medium kick. So, that's a, such a great closer button for for, uh, for Ken. Sure, yeah, in that spot. Yeah, yeah. You, don't, you don't care that you can't cancel on anything. Exactly. Drive rush, mm -hmm. grab again. Close to the corner. Yep, check, Man. check. Didn't get the check. Meaty Fierce, good cancel. Side switch. No, go for the damage. Yeah, we'll just push you that way. Back to mid screen. Yep. Yep. T kick confirm on the medium kick target combo. Tries to bait with the back dash. Still no throw tag. No cancel. That could have been it. Chris CCH, what do you have? One guess left. Oh. And there it is. We have to go. No, we didn't go wow. for it again. All right, but well. Oh my God, oh. He let it rip. No yeah, dry reversal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Sandblast. That could have been something. For real. No perfect parry uh, attempt in that. The music is getting intense. We're, we're buffering. Ooh. Does it fall? Cross no cut, cross no. cut. Okay. Oh my God. Every punch, Sandblast. Thank God. If it was light, it would have been punished. No punish. Walk Ooh. forward. That's oh. it. We're going. To a final, final game. round. Oh. Daigo does have level three online, though. Chris CCH is gonna have to start from zero again, yeah. start from scratch. So, but, but knowing Daigo, if he gets to any hit, clean hit, he's gonna go right away. Just right? cash out. Oh, he okay. He tries to check the drive push, but doesn't check. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Coming at you. Bringing the heat. Ah. Ripa. Okay, what's the guess? Meaty fireball, dry rush forward, walk forward. Just a meaty, yeah. Takes the grab. Are we gonna wake up OD? No, no. not yet, maybe. It's kind of been a while. And it has. Stand medium kick, drive gauge not looking great. Be careful about it. You have to do something. We're fighting for this drive Ooh. gauge. Chris CCH with the lead. Yeah, I feel whoever gets burned out right now, that's good damage though from Daigo. Okay, back to neutral. Mm -hmm. Daigo backing all the way up. Yep. Not in range to go for Shuriken there. Okay, level one's on deck for both sides. I do okay. Yeah, I want. I wonder if uh, Chris CCH was looking for maybe a level one, but no. Yeah. Oh, that could have been whip punish. That could have been clutch right there. Gets takes by the back throw. Chris CCH in the yellow. Ooh. Nice tech on the grab. For real. Watch out. 
I think Daigo's buffering an ODDP possibly. Mm -hmm. Too slow. Takes the wow. grab. Wow. Yep, Daigo respects it. Sandblast, Sandblast. We have level two. We do. Chris getting a little bit of that drive back. He was close to burnout, not anymore. Oh my god. Oh, no check. Daigo could have canceled that. For real, yeah, just drive rush. Here we go, crouch me and punch. Daigo Plus just one. backing up. Backing up. Maybe for one more throw attempt from Daigo, possibly. Again, nice just tag. running across. Oh, Again. Daigo going for it this time. Hang he's on. Not, he's not dead. Oh, he oh, drops that was it. The drop. Oh, it's the shimmy when it matters the most. Daigo. Oh, my God. Bro, Daigo. They were playing neutral for a minute. That was a great, like, that last 40 oh, seconds. Oh, my God. Was insane. And but the thing is, Chris CCH did drop the combo. It would, yes. have, it would not have killed. He would have been a good spot, though. It, it would have been a good spot. Daigo capitalized off it, and he's the one that's going to move on to the grand finals yes. on winner's side. Oh, man. Yeah, because it wouldn't have been level three. It was level two. It was level two, Beast uh, Mode Baby. Beast Mode Baby. But he would have been in the corner. Right. Because Beast, the level two usually puts people in the corner. Mm -hmm. So Luke would have been in a great situation, but Daigo would still have some drive gauge left, so he could could, could have bust out. Chris CCH would have had to respect them. Right. So it's kind of like, even though he's waking up, you're the one still guessing. You, okay, yeah, that's a good way to put it. That's yeah. a good way to put it. Man. That's a great match. Great match, for great. sure. Yeah. Super, super good. I feel like super there was a lot good. of clutching up on both sides. Even that lat, like the, the fourth game yeah. where Daigo was up 2-1, like Chris really had to dig deep, I, th I feel like, to bring that to a game five. So I know. I really liked, yeah, I mean, I could see... It's funny, because I feel like, yeah, Chris CCH, he's, like, down to play that Daigo neutral. Yeah. And he's actually... He's fine at it. He, was like, play, he, was play, he played really good. Played really good. Yeah, he's like, I, I would just play Daigo's game. And um, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's down to the wire. That yeah. could have gone really either way. I think the one thing that Chris CCH did have the upper hand of against Daigo was the whiff punish game. Right? Good point. He, he whiff punished the drive rush from Daigo many a times, the crouch medium punch. Yep. He whiffed the scratch. Uh, he whiffed, punished, crouch medium kick from Daigo. Yeah. Whiffed, crouch medium punch. Also in the level three to clutch it out to make it 2 2. And it's funny, I know the Luke's crouch medium punch, it's a little bit easier to whip punish now. It's yeah. like three more frames. Yeah, I mean, but it's still kind of hard. It's tough. Daigo did whip punish at one time with Sweep. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, the, like Daigo definitely could have done maybe a slightly better job with punish. I know there's like a crouch medium kick too that I feel like Daigo might have been able to punish. Yeah. But. Um, does get it done. See right there, that was such a good check on the drive rush. And look, that's tough. It wouldn't have killed, but I mean, it would have done a good grip of damage. It would have yeah. put him in a life lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But then Daigo would have bully with, with, with OD. Because one OD fireball against a sandblast, it was just rip. It's game over. Right, right. right. So it was a, a tough situation, but it was also an unfortunate drop. I yeah. wish we were able to be in the timeline where Chris CCH did not drop that combo mm -hmm. because I would love to see what would happen afterwards. Right, because it still could have gone either way. Right. Still could have gone for sure. Still could have gone either way, but that we might do... be grand finals. Yeah, that might, you know, we might get that we timeline. Get we'll see what happens. Or Galaxy Butter versus Riddles. One of these two might have something to say about it. That's right. Right, we got the Rashid versus uh, versus Luke. I really like Galaxy Butter's uh, Rashid. I mean, it's good. Yeah, yeah. The flow chart, the script. He has it. But it's it's not, you know, it's not like he's so reliant on it. Like, I feel like he's down to play neutral um, and kind of work his way into. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Riddle's Luke. Yeah, we've seen this matchup a few times. I feel like uh, Duel Kevin, I mean, he plays Rashid and Luke. And Luke, right? And yeah. he hates the Luke mirror match. Oh, so okay. So he'll counterpick by picking Rashid in the Luke match. I, yeah, I remember seeing that. Yeah. It doesn't mean, like, Rashid wins. It's more of just, like, it's more comfortable. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh kind of like, God. I don't know, it's kind of like Duel with the Guile mirror, right? I feel yeah. like he's always going cami for... Yeah, that's true, against Kaba, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Okay, punish counter, GG's. That, that, I mean... That's a grip. About about as good of a first round as you can ask for for Riddles. Sandblast again. Sandblast. Okay, good check with the jab. Yeah. Doesn't commit from the crouching medium kick, though. Oh, my God. Ooh. That heavy punch. Nice punish, yeah. Text the grab. Perfect parry. Woo. Again with the setups. Tries the perfect parry. No bite. No bite. Oh, I don't oh. know. Input error, but worked out. Yeah, sometimes it's funny that that works out like that. Eagle Ooh. Spike. Eagle Spike is such a great hard knockdown move. It really is. Yeah, it really is. Especially when it's charged up. Oh, oh. my God. 
too slow. I mean, Luke said it. He really did say it, huh? He really, he really did. Again. He meant it. Okay. Said it with his chest. Eat this. Uh. Nice block on that. Yeah, that's level three. Uh-huh. Boom. Time to go to work. That's right. That's in the yellow, so the, it should be enough. Just a day in the office. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah, good point. Is yellow 2K? Oh, oh no. barely not. I guess Yellow's 2,500, right? Yeah, so, I guess 2,500. But also, maybe it's because there was too many jabs. Ah, scaled it a little bit. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but, I mean, Riddle's looking great right now. Riddle's definitely looking good. Oh my I, God, you know, no, knowing Riddle's, I wouldn't be surprised if he practiced a lot for this tournament, like, especially maybe once he heard Daigo was coming. That would not surprise me. It's possible. Maybe he wants to run back. Yeah, I, for sure, for sure. Okay, miss, misses the, the flash knuckle upper. Sandblast right here. Mm -hmm. Galaxy Ooh. Butter, what do you got? Taking the whirlwind. Ooh. Nice, beating the drive rush. Yep. Just gonna check him coming in. Okay. No confirm off that. And he's burned out again. Yeah, Riddle's definitely been spending a lot of drive. He does. You gotta take advantage. Rashid's really good against burnout because, I mean, it makes his mixer from minus two to plus two. Plus two, yes. That's a huge change. He can definitely bully you, but he's got to get in first. If you're the one running offense, it, sometimes it don't matter that you're that burnt out. Just like that, the uh -huh. whip punish. That was sick. Yeah, I mean, Smash Brothers, don't, we don't have meter management, so <laughs> there's, no, there's no meter. No, there's a sub character, some characters that have, so, like, the meter. Sub characters. Oh, nice reaction. Mid-screen, too. Are we going to side switch? Yes, we are. Doesn't get the cancel, though. Burn out again. Uh-huh. It's funny, yeah, it, but it only really matters if they get on top of you, so no, okay. I think he tried to do level 2 Yassar, but got mm. uh, input error for the Eagle Spike. Eagle Spike instead, that's right. Yeah, Riddle's kind of just in a nice spot there. They, wow, that was interesting. He didn't spend the level 2 there. Now he goes for it. Not worth it. Yeah. Not it, worth it. Didn't get much meter back either. Yeah. It, it just all gets up. Usually you don't want the super to just block, like to hit you completely. Right. You want it to linger a little bit. Yeah, it's not like, um... Oh, we're... we're you know, it's not like JP's level 2. Yeah, we're burned out again? Yeah, we have burned out a lot. <laughs> Twice in one round. Yeah, bro. We're bur I'm like, he didn't even spend the bar there. Right. Coming in. No okay. reactions on that. He's buffering, though. The little jitters on the leverless. Mm -hmm. Riddles' his drive coming back. Okay. That was a godlike DP. Yeah. I thought he might have been out of time, but uh, no, he gets the DP out and Riddles... Burn out a lot. Burn out twice in one round and then wins the round. So, you know. He burned out like himself like right away when it's he got right the bar. Right away, man. He's like, oh, I got to drive back. I know what to do. I'm going to spend this now. Like it's going out of style. Uh-uh. Uh Where are you going? Perfect. Nice combo. Ends it with the Avenger. Mm. Man. That's two combos. Yes. Yeah, that's two combos. I mean, that was about as good of a start as you could ask for. Oh, I wonder if he tried to cross cut. Yeah, maybe. Because he got crouched jab, so maybe he was still holding down. Yeah. Uh-uh. Burns out Where again. Where are you going? It's not enough, though. Uh -huh. Side switch. Tries to go for a shimmy. I like it. I like the attempt. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Boom. Yeah, I mean, this is very difficult for Galaxy, but it's very one-sided right now. Riddles is going hard. I mean, this is why Luke is so strong. Yeah. The damage <laughs> output is amazing. Yes. And plus, Riddle's not scared to fight in Burnout. He feels the way he's playing when he's in Burnout is like he has Drive Gauge still. Yeah, that's true. That's true, yeah. And his confirms have been good enough. Like, he's just going into level one. Oh my god, you know? big damage, baby. Yes. So, yeah, okay, the DP. You got the delay DP, DP for that combo. Mm -hmm. Again, that's zero. He's okay with the trades. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is not enough, but it's close. No, okay, goes for the reset, goes for the throw, gets for game. Blocks what, it out, yeah, nice walks up for a throw. Uh, Oi! I respect it. I understand, I do understand. Uh, I feel like for, forward. oh! I feel like the way Riddles is playing, I feel like he's playing like, yo, I, I can get away with murder right now. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm just gonna do this DP, because if it hits, it hits. You know, if yeah. it don't, I'll figure it out. And we talked about Galaxy Butter, it's like he's so confident, but I felt like he was not confident at all. No. He was kind of thrown off in his game plan, but I mean, top four, still amazing placement, amazing, amazing yeah. showing. Show, showed off that Rashid. Definitely, yeah. I mean, he had some really, really good games, especially early in the top eight. I think Riddles just kind of came with the heat and um, was he playing did. so, like, it's it's funny. Yeah, actually really confident 
in his aggression and um I mean come on now that's the ball that's rolling liquid riddles liquid riddles he said riddle me this you <laughs> ain't guessing me that's right there's no guess no I'm gonna burn myself out straight forward and then I'll get the drive back and then I'll do it again yes but I mean I don't know if it's gonna work against Chris CCH this, this is, is very likely to be a mirror match, actually. Yeah, it's gonna so, might, might likely be unless a we get that match. edge. No, don't 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 bring the edge, please. It's not that great. <laughs> it's that it's, it's that's tough. It's that's kind it's kind of lacking. Maybe like <laughs> like a fifteen twenty mr ed possibly. <laughs> uh, but you say fifteen twenty. Fifteen twenty. You know, Ouch. He got in the master, only played one match. One match, match? okay. Got the 20 points, yep. and then just like, all right, you that know what? That means I'm, 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 uh, I'm, in the, I'm, in, I'm not in the red. I'm yeah, in the yeah, black yeah, 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 for yeah, the day. Exactly. So. But I feel like this one, Chris TCH, I mean, we saw the nooch against yeah. Daigo. The difference between Great. Daigo versus Riddles versus Daigo versus Chris TCH, night and day. It was night and day. Night and day. Yes. Um, so I'm pretty sure Chris TCH wants Riddles to play his normal game. Yeah. Because, so he could burn himself out really quick. That, I, yeah, I, I don't think, but you know, to me, I feel like it might go differently anyway, because I feel like the reason Riddles was sort of playing that way was because everything was working. Yeah. And so I feel like it was, that sort of enabled him to go a little bit ham. But you know, I, I feel like he's got to sort of earn that. So it, I, to me, it kind of depends how the set actually starts. Yeah, 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 I can see that. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. And uh, I guess the way Riddle plays, he likes to go for a lot of shimmies. He, that's true, I that's true. I don't know if Chris CCH will bite against the shimmies. Based off of that Daigo set in particular, there was a lot of taking the throw. Yeah. So yeah, we might need to see some some adapting there. We'll see what happens. We might have to grab a lot first. Right. Kind of kind of get it out of you. Yeah. Okay, we're putting the hat on. This is the the first time we've seen the uh, that 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 skin. The main character energy right here. Mm hmm With the ripped jeans. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Play nooch, play slow. Lots of slow gameplay going on right now. Mm -hmm. Sandblast, no, no parry attempts. Ooh. Trades. Yeah, the exact same frame on that. <laughs> One brain cell. Tries perfect parry because he didn't believe the cross goes going to work there. Right. Yeah, sometimes you're just like, eh, maybe I'm too late. Yeah. Nice oh. reactions. For real. OK. Yep. Oh, he challenged there. I guess maybe that wasn't meaty enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, nice. Punish counter throw, two for the extra damage. Okay, jab, jab. Again, Ooh, that's gonna be burnout. Yeah. Chip this damage. Is tough. Yeah, that's just, I mean. That was checkmate. Super, you're pretty much not gonna win there. Yeah, that was checkmate. Oh, cause he didn't even have level two, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For, a second, for a second, I thought it was Chris CCH that had level two, but no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, uh, you're just done. Okay. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Like, Lot of neutral. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you, you did call it. You said, like, he's not going to play as aggressive as he did against Galaxy Butter. And it's definitely more slow. Yeah, I feel like he's feeling it out. Nice with punish there from Chris CCH. Goes for the Avenger. Decides to block on Wake Up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, time to go to work. Not burn out, but close to it. Yes. Yeah, is there a setup he can do on Wake Up here? He could drive rush forward. Yeah. Force the ODDP. Yeah. Ooh, and uh, doesn't even need to. Chris CCH is getting up with that parry. Yeah, I think, it, but yeah, I think he tried to bank on the, the, the perfect parry there. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of drive back from this. Not going to kill. Oh, it was close. It was actually, I almost ate my words. <laughs> the toe tap. Mm hmm. Oh my God. Final round. First game. No meter. Playing honest here. That's right. It's like it's first round all over again. Oh, well timed. First hit, first blood for Chris yep. CCH. To the corner we go. Ooh. Try to jump up. Text the grab. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Do we go for Shimmy? Ooh. Get off of me. Blocks overhead. Nice. Rising uppercut. Just for game. Crash me a bunch. Plus Ooh. one, plus one, plus one. That's right. Just all the way out. Right? Sandblast. Oh. oh, okay. Here we go. Riddles, you got a shot. Uh huh. You got a shot. Don't get hit by wake up level one. Reverse level one's coming. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. Maybe okay. he pushes something. He's close to the wall. It's perfect. No! Oh, no! Okay. Oh, no kill. Okay. Could have been level one. It could have been level one. Too slow. Oh! Jab, jab. Speaking of too slow, there is a big gap there. It was a beautiful a big, friendship. It's like, it's like oh. racing number two. Are they doing one check? No, they're, they're going. Are they? Okay. Oh, I just thought it was funny because they're playing. They were they were they're doing all the Luke custom outfits and now they're going okay. 
Yeah, I don't know. They changed the outfit. They They're changed like, the forget it. We'll just do the default. Perfect. Okay. Mm. Go to sleep. Sandblast. Heavy punch. Sandblast. There it is. Ooh. Oh, with punish. You said it. Three frames extra. That's right. That. Get off of me. Okay. Yeah, Riddle's needed her way back into that round. And he's Man. burnt out. Again. You know, this is kind of unfortunate because I feel like Riddle's game is kind of a little thrown off a little bit, right? For, yeah. I feel it. A lot. Like, when moments like this happen, there's a lot to be said as, like, a competitor for, like, how, how well can you bounce back? Right. You know? And kind of roll with the punches. Okay, but Chris is about to be burned out. Riddles, you're gonna go for it. Mm hmm. Rising up. Okay. Here. Love it. Yep. Yeah, recognizing that he had time there. Okay, Sandblast, where are you going? Mm. Presser tries to check it. Chris is taking all the hits right now. He doesn't yeah. want to get burned out. Really close to it, though. Oh, oh, YOLO sweep. Yeah, wow. Yeah, turn, get nice, perfect pair on the Sandblast. Yeah. Kind of get your opportunity to take your turn back. Yeah, that's punishable. Mm. Yeah, that's not safe. Yeah, it doesn't get a it doesn't get a big combo. Chris again, very very close to burnout. Okay. Doesn't yeah. even need to spend level one. Amazing. Okay. And they both got that full stick of butter, so. Oh my they god. They walk up and they go like this. They just stare down. Yep. Do we spend the bar? Nope. Okay. We'll get, yep, we'll get the the mix up right here. Yeah, no wrong, no wrong answer there. I yeah. mean, this is going great. That first round was was kind of looking like Riddles was a little deflated, but uh, it looks like he's right back in the driver's seat. That was golly when Christy C from blocking that crouching medium kick. Mm -hmm. Tries to go for a shimmy. Most people, when they go for a shimmy, they get hit by the, the low. Uh huh. Ooh. This is close. This big damage right here. You might be dead. Yes. Yes. Oh, he's, he's salty. He's salty, bro. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, he's salty. He's nodding. Yeah, take take a deep breath. Go back to character select. No. Just going right back into it. Oh, Avenger. Oh. Wow. Yeah. What a hard read there. For real. But Riddles with the reactions. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, what? Just smacks him down I'm on the way in. I'm going to just say that was a accidental input error, but it Could worked out. Could be a out. drive rush. Eats yeah. The, yeah. It worked out. Right. And then you act like it was on purpose. Yep. Okay, good check. Oh, Chris CCH fighting back. Take him to the corner. Do you have reactions? Ooh. Meaty drive impact, possibly. Go for a throw. Just make him think about it. Another and then do everything throw. else. Four. Okay, now. Oh! oh! I mean, smart, because I feel like he did the throw loop up until the throw would actually kill. Yeah, and he's like, now I tough. know. It was tough. Now you can't take the throw no more, because if you take it. Yeah. <laughs> In that situation, it's like, maybe Riddle's like, okay. Buffer level one, buffer level one. Right. Not thinking but about taking the throw. Exactly, exactly. Because the driver, it's such a mental stack. Like it centralizes uh, it, you know? Spend level three. Uh, yep. Yeah, now, absolutely. This is a guess for game scenario. Riddles, what do you have? This, this is, is your really final, tough. final shot right here. Your final, your last stand. Riddles is last stand. Okay. Wake up suppressor? God. Of all things? That was, we. yeah, that was weird. Okay. Chris CCH takes the throw. Oh, the crowd's actually getting loud. Crowd's on your side. Oh, no, I thought he wasn't going to do it. It was like a delay yeah. throw tech. Wow, that's tough. That's tough. But Chris CCH is going to get his run back against Daigo, Daigo the Beast. Man, I mean, that was a great set in winners. That's tough for Riddles. It is I mean, tough. third place, nothing to shake a stick at. You know, I'm not, you know he wishes it could have gone down a little bit differently. Of course. He, he, he wants the run back, right? He wants the run Why back. Why wouldn't you want the run back Especially against Daigo. Against Daigo. And I mean... That, that, it's just one of these players that, like, how how many times do you really get to see him at offline events? Yeah, so, true, you know. right? And this is we'll like a, it's a clash of different communities. It really is. Right? Literally different communities, right? I mean, literally the Japan community yeah. um, versus, uh, uh, yeah, versus NA. And, I mean, it's it's always dope, always a pleasure. I mean, there's so many Daigo fans out there. I've been watching this guy for 20 years. Okay, but this, this uh, I mean, the winner's final set, Dude. It could have went either way. Super competitive. It could have went either yeah, way. Yeah, absolutely. No, I really like Chris C C CCH's neutral, yeah. for sure. Man, there's a lot, lot of taking the throw on both sides. Dude, that one round where it was like, take the throw, it was like 40 understood. Seconds, take bro. the throw, understood. And it was just back and forth. It was so, a great 40 seconds. Yeah. Um, but now this it's different. We're in grand finals. Daigo's on the winner's side. So that means he has to lose two sets in a best of five. Yes. In, in order to lose his tournament. Yes. Um, he just has to win one set. 
to Take win this whole tournament. Win, That's right. Right. So it's gonna be uh, pretty interesting to see what Chris CCH is gonna do. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I mean, he's in the hot seat though. Like, like this match right here, Chris uh -huh. CCH is in the hot seat. Yes. So he just won a match, so he's warmed up. He's not cold. True. Right? That's a good point. Yeah, that can help. Some people like, some people actually play a little bit better if they're coming from losers, just because they kind of yeah, because they're hot. Um, right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chris CCH really went for. I mean, oh. <laughs> Big highlight. Shout out uh, to. Uh, uh, you, could, uh, you, you could even see the life lead. You could even see because yeah, they could yeah, see yeah. the light bar. Yeah, that yeah. was really interesting. Just like that. Chris CCH, I mean, he. I'm kind of curious on who he's going to play. Is he going to go back to Luke? Probably, right? Just stay with Luke the whole entire time. As opposed to. Uh, Ed? No, maybe, <laughs> you know, because he, he used to play Ken. As yeah, well too. yeah. But yeah, I mean, I think either way, like, if you got destroyed. Then yeah, maybe a different character, but not no. Yeah, it was did so not close, right? It's so, so close. close. If anything, and this is maybe my my like little preconceived notion. I feel like for some reason, I feel like there's more Ken than Luke in Japan. Mm. If anything, I feel like if if Daigo was no, to see a Ken mirror, if anything, I feel like he'd be like, oh, I'm actually even more comfortable. I'm more comfortable. I might be making that up. I don't right? know. No, I mean it's very possible to see that. I'd also maybe because like Tokido Daigo, they both play Ken. That's what I was thinking. So if you're a fan of both, you're like, oh, I want to play Ken too. Right. right. I could see that as being a thing. Yeah. How, and the Luke players are, I guess there's like Kawano, Kawano Bonchan. Momochi, bon, oh, that's true. Bonchan. Yeah, there's a good number. Yeah. There's, oh. there's, there's a lot of Lukes and Kens and mm -hmm. any character in general. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's the thing, too. Man, I saw that, that statistic with like how many of each, you know, region oh, got yeah. into... The, the, mass, it, the 2000 MR or whatever. Or leg, is it Legend? Legend, yeah. And it was like... I was. I mean, I knew. I knew Asia was good, but I was like, "Oh, <laughs> this is a yeah. lot." I did see tweets from like the the, the South America community. Uh -huh. They said they can't even get to let the legend because oh, there's just because of how the rating the, the rating system works. Sure. Yeah. That's a dude. That's actually that can be a thing. Yeah, just regionally. Like sometimes there's like a it's like an Elo drought in it, an area. It is Elo drought. So if you're not trying to be part of that. We got a game for you to play. Let's check out that parallel. That's right. That's right. You could set. You could be one of the first. Right. It's the a, early adapters. It's a free-to-play sci-fi online trading card game with a five hundred thousand dollar tournament later this year. Yes, they kicked off a referral program, so you can join, uh, and you and your friends can get rewards. The code is just going to be exclamation mark parallel in the chat. And actually, if you use that battle to be C link, it's going to directly support the event. So please do that. Um, with exclamation mark parallel. But yeah, it's an incredibly fun game. They got a unique energy mechanic um, that greatly adds to the strategic depth. So yeah, if you're looking for the next, uh, you know, trading card game that you could really sink your teeth into, this could be the one for you. Especially if you're looking to, you know, get a shot at that 500K tournament later. That's big. That is, that's huge. Right, that is, that is a big, that's, I mean, that's life-changing money right here, right? It is, no, that is, that is. All right, right, and then, yeah, I'm like, I'm really curious how Chris CCH is gonna really go with this. Is he gonna be more aggressive? Is he gonna play the same game that Daigo's been playing neutral all day? Because mentally, it's tiring. Yeah, how do, actually, how do you approach that? I lose to him. <laughs> okay, I feel that, I feel that, <laughs> I feel that. Okay, yo, I saw that one. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's the kind of thing where, I guess it depends on the game to a certain amount. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. The thing about Daigo is like, if you want to have some type of read, uh -huh. he follows his his rules. He's disciplined. That's true. So, we talked about that. So yeah. because he's not like truly that flexible, you can take advantage of those situations. That's an interesting way to think about that. I like that. But okay, yeah. we got to kick to the host. Yeah, bring us in. Talk to talk to us. Dom. What's second, fellas? Thank you so much, Jay. Thank you so much, Tuff. I appreciate y'all. Seriously, y'all are amazing. How we doing, Fighting Game fans? How we doing, everybody in the crowd? How we living? How we doing? <laughs> love that, love that, love that. Y'all ready for these grand finals? I need some more noise than that. Y'all ready for these grand finals? All right, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, okay? So on our right-hand side right here, we got Halen from Seattle, Chris C.H., Yes, indeed, yes, indeed, yes, indeed. And then on our left-hand side, handling from Tokyo, Japan, we have the Beast Daigo. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed, yes, indeed. This is about to be a legendary match, y'all. I hope that y'all are as excited as I am. We are about to get into this. No further ado, no need for extra introductions or anything like that. I'm gonna bring it back over to our commentators. Toph, you guys go ahead. j y'all kick it. Take care of business, you know what I'm saying? Woo! 
Yeah, shout out to Dom, bro. Yeah, doing a great job out here for sure. I don't know how, like, it always depends event to event. So obviously I can't hear the stream. We can't hear what you necessarily hear in the stream. But I got to say, in the building, uh, the crowd got pretty loud. They and did. they actually got pretty loud for Daigo. I like mean, that's, said Daigo, that's the beast. That's the beast. That's the beast. This, this is also old school versus new school right here. Definitely old school. Well, uh, yeah. Actually, when did, it's funny. It's funny to see, like new school means so many different things now. Because like, when did Chris CCH start playing? More like mid Street Fighter Five. Five. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so it's reasonably new school. That yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that makes sense. I mean, if you think about Daigo, he's been playing in the nineties. I mean, yeah. The nineties. The nineties. Yes. Yeah, Vampire, Sa you know, Street Fighter Alpha. Alpha, Vampire Savior. Yes. Okay. Okay. Chris CCH first blood. Yeah, and, and if you missed it uh, in the chat, if you meant Winner's Finals was phenomenal. It was down to the wire game five. Final round, so. Okay. Text the grab. Hadouken. Step kick. Even though it's minus, it's like the pushback of it is so good you can't even punish it. Right, yeah, it's like still safe. Yeah. Oh, Daigo Ooh. walking forward because he wants to attack that drive gauge. Yeah. He knows that's caution right there. Yeah, and he's really whittling it down and just walking Chris CCH down in the corner. Yeah. He's so good. He's so quick. Cool the, the amount of walk that he does, everybody else he does like, they'll like walk, then walk back. Mm -hmm. But Daigo's so confident that he's going to walk forward completely. Yes. Yeah, you're seeing it. Ooh. Oh, oh my God. air to air. I think that was a DP personally. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's get it though. Sure, you can. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, oh, no. The jab whiffed. You saw that? That, yeah. It just like whiffed and like it hit his pecs and didn't touch him. Any, and okay. Yep. So perfect. Yeah, pu uh, punch counter throw wasn't enough damage to kill. Yo, is there a reason he did crouch jab and not, you know, like, I don't know, medium punch? Or... I, I think it's more of like a quick reaction. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty, pretty wild. It was interesting. Okay, goes for a grab again. Wake up. Man, Daigo through Winter's Finals too. A lot of good crouching medium kicks. But we're going to Memphis right now. Yeah, get the level three, get that drive gauge, mm -hmm. healthy. Chrissy Stitch could build that level three again if he wins this round. Yes. Daigo. Daigo with a nice walk back on the throw. Yeah, he doesn't spend his level three, which is usually surprising because he's he loves cashing out. Right. Again, didn't cash out there. No, but oh, he's gonna cash he's cashing out, out now. Force. Oh! Drops the combo. That's crazy. Avenger for damage. Goes for the throw. What are you gonna do? No whiff punish. That could have been the round mm -hmm. for Chris CCH. Yeah, level one. He's buffering. No. Yeah, he really is. And Daigo's just walking up. Takes the grab. He can afford it. You can't take any more though. Yeah, one more. Ooh, okay. EX fireball. Too fast for level one. Yeah, it's Chris CCH. Okay, and maybe back to the buffering. Daigo's just gonna walk him down. Oh! I think they both. Down. I think they both pressed. I saw Daigo also his full was coming yeah, out. Yeah, I think. I mean, Luke's crouch medium kick is shorter than Ken's. True. Okay, again, catch them on the way up. Crouching fierce, not DP, no uh -huh. knockdown. Yeah, that's okay. Uh -uh. That, that's a good buffer in the beast mode, baby. Mm -hmm. Get that pure damage and build that drive uh, gauge back. Boom. Okay, sandblast. Oh, that's Dude, big! I was wondering, that's that awkward yeah. spacing. Do I, I do cross cut or not? I think he could have killed there if he spent the double drive gauge. Because he would have built the level one. Oh, you're right, yeah. And no reaction there from Daigo. Yeah, he can't, he can't drive impact. He has to drive parry that. He can't afford to help. Oh, you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to parry. We're level three, I guess. Yeah, okay. Sandblast. Nice, perfect parry. Mm -hmm. It's a regular parry. Oh. Standing medium kick. The round closer. Fantastic. Dude, standing medium kick. That's been such a clutch round closer throughout this tournament from these two. When you don't need that special cancel, yeah. you just need a good button. Stan Fierce. Daigo walked into it. Too confident in his walking game. Oh. Yeah, drops the combo because yeah. he's a little bit too close in the corner. Right, right. The bounce is a little bit, a little bit awkward, maybe. Oh, no, no you, you don't. don't. Again, that's the same How? combo he dropped last like, in the winner's finals. Yeah, there have been a couple, a couple little drops from both of them, actually. Daigo with that dragon latch and the crouching jab. Oh, that's gonna now we got time. the space again. Yep. Chris CCH was just having trouble getting that, uh, oh, that timing. Chris CCH is feeling it right now. For real. Oh, they're both yeah. sitting on a sliver of drive game. Yeah, I think he's taking the hit on purpose. Right. Because he doesn't want. Because if he does go, if you go for parry, you actually spend a lot of drive game. Right. You really need to get that perfect parry. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you risk burning yourself out. Yeah. So taking the hit, I mean, you don't really get too much. Ken's not gonna get too much from there. Right. Where are you going? Ooh. Okay, Karachi Mew kick defensive. 
And Chris is just doing a really great job at forcing Daigo to spend his drive gauge. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's true. The buffer doesn't work. Go time. Take Let's see if Daigo throw. just uh, abuses the plus, plus frames a little bit right now. Dragon yeah. Oh my god, double Dragon Lash. That's a trade. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. TP, get off of me. Cross cut. Okay, you're out of there. Oh my god. Playing hopscotch out mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we're out of burnout, so no more no more chip on that Jinrai. Okay, too slow. Goes oh. for a grab. Yep. Girl loop city time. Okay, Daigo called it. He said, "I don't want to be in that city." He doesn't want to be. <laughs> no entire surprising. Man, I wonder if it was. Yeah, like he he wasn't confident in it or something he, from that last time. Yeah, that should be the round though. Yeah. Okay. Can Daigo tie it up, or Chris is going to go up two games? Takes a throw. Chris is going to be in a beautiful spot if he goes up 2-0. Takes another throw. Mm -hmm. Okay, Not uh -uh. a third time. Not this time. No, no tick throw. Yeah, Chris is really relying on that crouching medium punch, like the delay one. Ooh. Okay, bring in the heat. Rippa! What's the guess? OD fireball, dry rush forward. Standing heavy kick. That's enough to burn him out. Oh, that's the point. Yeah, you're just dead. Yeah, that should be enough. Ugh. One to one. Ooh. Yeah, he, Chris is not pleased about that. He could have uh -huh. definitely made some better decisions. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Back to that patient neutral. Okay, tick throw from Daigo. Dashing forward. A nice perfect parry. Good punish right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice confirm. Okay. Where Ooh. are you going? Yeah. That's a trade. That, yeah, for sure. Good amount of damage from Daigo. Ooh! It's, checks the walk. Yeah. Offensive crouching medium kick? Yes. Uh-huh. Ooh! Crouch medium punch. That's the, Oh, that could have been punished. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, pressed a little bit too late, possibly. Ooh, no anti there. Okay, Hadouken. Get the push back. Yeah, Hand maybe. Blast. No okay. care is the DP. Yes. Yeah, Chris CCH jumping maybe a little bit too much. Got yeah. a little too comfortable, you know, with Daigo kind of not, not DP for a yeah. little while. That's why you see Daigo just whipping, crouching jabs after Hadouken. Right. See if I see if I can get him to jump again. Yeah. See if there's a specific read that Chris CCH has when jumping over these fireballs. Dude, look how down, like you said. Again, oh, there good it is. timing from Chris CCH. See, he didn't get there. He, 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 he got the read this time. Uh huh. This should be enough. Yeah. Man, that sound effect of the that was like glass shattering. It's like ooh, ooh. That was like a level three sound effect, even though that was level two. Okay, let's get it. Doesn't bite on the shimmy. Mm -hmm. Smart stuff. Oh, Ooh. big whip. Yeah, big not, whip. Not a big combo. Yeah, maybe at that range it's... It was tough because, like, did he, well, does he want to spend this drive gauge to, to make him go to one drive gauge, right? Right. Because he only had four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe you just, you know, take what you can get. Okay. Speaking of which, I mean, this is... Oh, no! Yeah, that's tough right there. It's because of how close they were to the wall. Okay, gets the jump in, though. Let's get... Misses the perfect parry attempt against the drive rush. With punish right there on the crouch medium. Mm. Just causing the burnout right here. Yes. Okay, what are we going to do? Walk forward roundhouse, walk forward fierce. That's walk what he went for last time. Kick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. Take the Jinrai chip. Daigo really likes to offer the Jinrai just for the chip damage. Not, yeah. to, not, not to be too risky at all. It's kind of like almost like the burnout version of the take the throw. Oh <laughs> my like god! A little bit of damage. He could have done level one. It would have won. For real? Oh Whoa! no! Must have been like walk forward. I, I, I'm sure he meant to fireball. Yeah, he tried to do OD sandblast, but he held forward there. That's such. That's so tough. You know, it's sometimes it's tough. Maybe he held down, and then then let go. And when you tap forward, if you tap forward, right, you get the DP. You get there. DP. Yes. All right, time to go to work. Yeah, we got we to gotta lock back in right now. It's yeah, it's tough. This should have been 2-1 two, two, right now, but Chris CCH, you got a life lead going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is a great round for Chris right. CCH. Don't watch out for Daigo's DP, possibly. Who knows? Okay, yeah, he backed up, was kind of scouting it. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, could have got a bigger punish. He could have ended the round with that. Okay, Ooh. sweep, punish uh -huh. by sweep. Drive impact, possibly. Oh, okay. perfect parry. We got the back throw, yes. Are we going to drive impact again? Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Can we spend the level two? 
No, just DP, because we're going to build that level three next And then hit. we're going to critical our... And now it's really guess for game. Yes, Hang on, we're taking game. some throws. Okay, I respect it. Get that offense out of my face. Daigo has no facial emotion change. Nothing has changed yet. Yes, not yet. It's rare. Okay, try and stop me. Yep, you can. Nice back dash. Sandblast right there. That's right, backing all the way up. Okay. Hadouken playing the slow play game. It's really interesting to see like how Chris H like finds his ways, finds his time to bust out with ODDP. Right. And speaking like, of which. Yeah, speaking of which. And Daigo, I mean, he's really good at calling it out right there. Look at the damage on that. Oh, oh I think he tried to go for the overhead for the meaty. Right. But messed it up, possibly. Yeah, did the wrong setup, or did the wrong move, really. Because yep. uh, that yeah. just wasn't it. Yeah, that was the wrong ender. Ooh, okay. and then the classic Daigo off board. Could have been more. It could have been more. He could have, maybe, maybe he didn't, was like, why would you get hit there? I didn't believe right. in myself. And he definitely, and he was below three drives, so he's not going to do drive rush cancel there. Yeah. Daigo's not a fan of being burnt out. He really isn't. Like, I, I feel like we haven't even seen him being burnt out too much, right? It, it's only when he's kind of forced into it. It's yeah. never him burning himself out. Yeah. That's not quite enough. Oh, Stan Fierce. Yes. Tough when you're on a pixel of life like that. Okay, Daigo, crouch medium oh, kick. Watch that, out for your toes, That baby. walk forward crouch medium kick, man, that's kind of been, like, that's like the one little difference maker between these two, I feel like. Yeah. Daigo's crouching medium kicks, man. They've been so good. It's because he walks forward a lot. A lot. He believes himself. He so, really, yes. So Chris CCH needs to press standing heavy punch to stop that walk forward. Right. But the thing is, if you, press, it's a big button to whiff like that. Yes. Gets the parry there, though. Doesn't drop the combo this time. Yeah. Okay, meaty. Meaty. That could have been, uh, I don't think that was plus, but Daigo didn't take no risk there. Where you going? Nice tech on the ground. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Try to walk for a jab. Ooh, again. Sand blast. No check. Oh. Jump in. Two to two. Was he not? Was was Chris CCH not doing a jab? I thought maybe there was time to do DP, but but I, maybe I, not. Maybe, maybe, or maybe he input it too late. All right, final round. Daigo just trying to take this home. Yeah, match match game for Daigo. Reset point for Chris CCH. Punish counter throw all his first. We got mid screen throw loops. Oh, oh, oh no! Back throw punish counter. Wait, we're pretty much even. Hmm. Man, okay. I, yeah, so now it's uh, Chris's turn on the throw loops. Yeah, throw loops time. That's two. Doesn't go for a third one. Could have went for bait. a third one. Maybe he thought, this is Daigo's time to DP. He hasn't been DPing. Maybe this is going to be that moment. Yeah. But yeah, like you said, Daigo, he just wants to be solid 100% of the time. Yeah, and when, and when he does bust out, it's like really rare. It's rare. I feel like this game, like even though they, they have the Ume Shoryu, this game kind of denies the Ume Shoryu. Because mm. it's so dangerous. You spend two bars. You get punish counter on block, that means you're, that's three bars spent and this big life egg mortar carry. Right. And, and the damage is too much. Is. Yes. No, that's a that's a really good point. It, it kind of it mit mitigates them, it. Know? It nerfs it. Yes. It nerfs it. Yes. Okay. Doesn't go for the grab there. No checks on the drive rush. Okay. No, no come hit confirm on the medium, medium yeah. big target combo. A little bit surprising. Okay. The buffer. That's a punish. Level two. Ooh. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, no burnout. He's gonna take the hit. Sure you can. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Burns himself, tries to get a perfect parry, doesn't fall for it. Yeah, that's tough. We will oh. take the trades. And you gotta be buffering now. DP. Ah, yeah, that's too much. Match point for Daigo. Wow. And, and funny enough, just like winner's finals, it's it's final game, final round. Yeah, but Chris CCH, he has level three. That's so true. He could get a huge life leave if he wanted to, but these grabs are adding up. That's two grabs. Uh-huh. That goes a little bit of delay jab on that. Delay. For, for sure, we spent no. Oh, yeah, I thought. Yeah, you should have lowered it. I would have level three to lower that drive gate from Daigo. Right. Forced the burnout situation. Got Daigo in the corner, though, but Daigo's medium kick. Okay, for okay. sure. There for sure is. now. Yes, yes, yes. And you're going to get some drive back, which is going to feel good. Yeah, feel good by yourself. You're going to yes. have more. But you, you can't cause a burnout here. So Daigo does have a little bit of counterplay if you wanted to. Right. Oh, this is enough. Oh, we yes. are going to get a three. No. Set. No. Oh, we are.
And I, the no. neutral jump when you're on top of him in the corner like that, he can't. I guess he can't really DP that. You like no, go he, past he, he him. He could have DP. He could have. Okay. He, I don't think Maybe he, he was didn't ready. Trust it. Because if he did DP, he could special cancel into level three. Oh my god! It would right. But it wouldn't have been in the animation, so he would have survived. But the thing is, he was burnt out. Right. Right. Well, one way or the other, yeah, Daigo didn't trust it or didn't get the reaction or something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Heavy, heavy punch knuckle, charge, get off of me. Daigo's starting Ooh. to bust out. He's trying to, starting to bust out. He's starting to burn out. Yeah, there's a little of a, I would say, kind of weird scenarios happening. Like I said, you got to force these situations to make Daigo play more risky. Right. And take advantage of these reads. A little bit more cracks in the armor starting to appear, yes. Yeah, there and it is. On the flip side, Chris playing a little bit more confident, Level too. One. Wow, nice. Don't test, don't test that man's reaction. Yes. And just situational awareness. Yeah, he's going to be buffering. He's going to be ready. Okay. Oh, my God. No whiff punish. Yes. Nope. Didn't bite the shimmy. Overhead. Mm. Okay. Level two. Eh, 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 eh. And now, this is the first time Chris CH is actually in the lead in the set. Yeah, he's in the driver's seat. So this is, uh, he might have a little bit of a surge of confidence right now. Right. Okay. Ooh, big meaty right there. Yeah, I'm surprised, surprised Daigo pressed the button there. Maybe he thought the throw was coming. That's why the meaty crash medium punch hit. Maybe it's like you said, you know, da he's Chris is actually starting to get Daigo on the RPS. Yeah, right. Forcing him to start making making a couple of these decisions. Okay, punish counter throw is going to hurt. Yeah, and that, that's going to drive parry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, level two. That's going to burn out. Burn out. Do we go for meaty drive impact? Shimmy? Yeah, Ooh. that's trade combo. Yeah, that's zero, right? Yep. Nice. There's a shore you can wake up, cross and punch, dash, dash forward. forward. Poor man's drive rush. Just dash forward throw. Yeah, Chris is trying to play, do something interesting. He tried to dash forward, dash back, because if, if he got hit by the shimmy there, he would have got hit by a full combo on the level two. Took, took the game right there. Right. Yeah, you got to make things happen when you're uh, in a bad spot like that. Okay. Yeah, doesn't get the knockdown because he was crouching. I don't know reversal. about these drive reversals because it's, it's forcing him to spend two bars. That one was unnecessary, right? Because I don't, well, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's plus, but the thing is, it's kind of it's kind of an interesting decision. Right, right, right. To Memphis. To Memphis. Okay, feeling good. That's a lot of bar. That's enough. Yeah. No, no, he didn't spend it. Yeah, Dagger right now with very little life though. But if he gets his level three, it's gonna be critical art. So oh, oh yeah, yeah, That's you tough. can't. You the only way is perfect or not perfect, it's but just parry. parry or super. Yeah. That's a tough spot right there. Good call, honestly, from um, Chris CCH on that one on yeah. the DI. Takes the first game in the grand finals reset. That's huge. That's gotta be feeling one. really good. Oh Daigo's doing more dragon lashes now. And it's because he's like, yo, I mean, if Chris is not reacting to it, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna stop until you do yeah. react to it. You gotta prove it. That's like four times in a row. That's true. Yeah, there's actually been a lot of dragon lash on, whether it's in block strings or just kind of, you know, ripping it. Okay. Yeah. Again, jab, jab, check. Mm-hmm. And the goal time. A lot of drive rush jabs right now. Yeah, that's the option, like right there. If, if, if perfect parry, drive reversal does not happen. If mm -hmm. regular parry, drive reversal will happen. Chris CCH a lot less likely to want nice. to take the throw, so little life. You know, I'm surprised he he really input a DP, but if you can really see the Dragon Lash, you can just drive oh. impact it. Yeah, 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 right. You can drive impact it. No misses the jump in. You can be the Kakeru. And oh, just... that's punish. Oh. Feedy. Okay, he can build level two here. He's yeah. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Build a level two, boom. Beast mode, baby. Man, if, if Chris CCH goes up 2-0, that's going to be... Daigo's gonna be in a tough spot. I know, right? Round Daigo scra two. scratching his face a little bit. I feel like that might be the most emotion we're gonna see out of him. <laughs> a little itch. A little, yeah, a little right. itchy, okay. Again, dry reversal. Okay, that's two dry reversals. The dragon lashes are coming out. Mm -hmm. DPs Ooh. are coming, that's punish count DP. Yeah, extra well, damage on that. You know, we, we are in a realm where there's no more neutral left. Yeah, there, yeah, right? There is no more neutral Yo, left. We are playing Street Fighter Six finally. For real, we're playing. It, it, there's been less taking the throw, too. Yeah. Very different vibe. They're really feel It's that, I don't know, it's that grand finals pressure or something. That's what happens when you, when you play enough games with each other. Yes, yeah. Because you start making, like, these hard reads. Hard reads, and it's the stuff that's like, oh! And, and like you said, it's like, oh, he's not reacting to Dragon Lash? Okay, bet, let me do that a little yeah, bit more, yeah. you know? It's little things like that. Wow. Wow. Level, I don't even know why you did wake up level one. I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you, but it worked out. It worked out. Oh, my God. Look, see, I'm telling you, he's, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, One yes. more. One more. Build yep. level one. 
Oh my god. Chris CCH has got Daigo playing a little bit nutty. A little bit nutty. A little bit nutty. We were talking about Daigo always wants to be playing solid. He's not succeeding in that right now. Yeah, the, the crack has happened. Yes. And he's still dragon lashing. He is. I think it's because Chris CCH is just only doing DPs, and Daigo's like, okay, I'm okay taking that. I can deal with that. But yeah. if he did drive him back, though, I think he would not do Dragon Lash as much. It would be, yeah, I think if that happened, man, imagine imagine that's like the last thing that happened. Imagine like if Chris CCH in the heat of the moment I mean, gets I, the drive impact when it really matters. saving it? That would be crazy. Dude, there's so many Dragon Lash. This looks like an online rank match right now. <laughs> Okay. Okay, there's been a lot more DI too, although uh, granted, he that's kind of a yeah. that's so that's a guarantee. That's checkmate. That's right checkmate. There. But he got he's still alive. Wake up crouch medium punch. Back Ooh. dashes the grab. How's this? How is this? Dry reversal Just again. Dry reversal. Spending all that bar. How's this? And DP that time. Bro, he's really disrespecting with the dragon lash. Really? Yeah, the third there, it there it is. is. You can't keep getting away now, with is, it. I don't is care he gonna do that it you're dying. Don't tell me he's gonna do it again. For real. And he wakes up grab right away. That's a Daigo special. Because you think he's going to wake up to do something else. Right. Ooh. To oh. Oh, my something. God. Oh, he did it again. No way. Nah, he's scrolling. For real. No way you're doing it again. Don't do, though, how's this. Yeah, please. Do not do how's because this. Because we know how this is. Okay. All right. Okay. Maybe the driving pack is like, you know what? It did hurt a little bit. Right? Yeah. It yeah. did hurt a little bit. It did, as a matter of fact. Do we spend it? Man, I would. Yeah. I would. Yeah, you just. Okay. Close to burnout, too. Yeah, yeah. To Memphis, he has to take the hit. Yeah, unless he wants forward. to, oh. Yeah, that, like you said, unless, yeah. unless he does something. He, but he's burned out either way. He is burned out. So. Just bully. You just bully a sandblast. Yeah, you may as well. Oh, okay. He didn't. That's a CA. Yes. He's going to build so much drive gauge back from here. And shut oh, up. I shut love, up. I love how Daigo so confident. He's like, I know I'm going to win this round. Yeah, for real. But that could have been a whip punish, too. There it is. Oh. And he did. Chases it down. And he did win that round. Confidence. Man. Okay, crazy that he won that game. He actually won both rounds, even though that was the one where he was trolling the Dragon Lash the most. Yeah. Do you think he's in a Dragon Lash still? I don't know. I feel like and no, is he but... second guessing himself on the wake up. Ooh. Eye on the prize. Oh, he back through. Yeah, it was defensive. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Bro, they are scrapping. For real. Like, they're really scrapping out here. Okay, now you try out. Yeah, now's the time to do it. Yeah, but. Well, we're not getting DI, yeah, so. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard. That's also the, the light kick version, so. It's, right. It's minus four, but in here, it's zero. That's why there's trading after that. Right, 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 right. And it's pretty quick. Too slow. Too slow. There it is. That's the round. Mm -hmm. And Chris, TCH, mm. match. Point. Match point, tournament point. Tournament point for the Pacific this, Northwest This was region. his goal. This was literally the goal. I'm trying to defend Canada. I don't even live there. He's but a I'm neighbor. I'm trying to defend from Daigo. He comes to the night market. Oh, okay, that's tight. Okay. Uh, uh. uh. DP, no, level two. We're spending a lot of gauge right like, there. Like you said, Daigo's always down to spend. He, he knows he's good for it. Oh, but Chris CH is not scared to spend on the wake up though. How's this? We brought it back. <laughs> we're, really, we're really bringing it back. DP? No, no DP. Hey, are you kidding? Yo, this really does look like rank. That's what I'm telling you. Oh, my God. Daigo is tilt. Uh, okay, how how's is this? this? Okay, just, I feel like you can't do level three here. Bro, I was thinking. The CA does so much. Yes. Okay. Chris, um, can't wake up, crouch, medium kick. I was, I was thinking wake up with something. Nice block. That was a 50-50 guess. Uh -huh. Nice block again. That nice was block. a 50-50 yeah. guess. Yeah. Oh, that's enough. Stop. Oh my God, that's enough. Chris CCH. Yeah, we're going right into level three. Your champion. Wow. Chris CCH, your champion. Ooh, with the pop off. He said he was going to do it. He I'm trying did to defend it. Canada. He we got Daigo in the building Canada. behind Chris CCH. Chris CCH coming Chris, from Seattle. Chris, the Canadian, Canadian hero. The Canadian, he's, he's, he's honorary. He drove here. Honorary. He drove, he likes, the, he likes the night market out here. Okay. He That's got to feel win. good. That's got to feel good. It wasn't, just, it wasn't just in five. It is. The thing about why it feels amazing mm. is because for CPT last year, mm. like for West Coast, it ended so early. So there was no more events left. Mm. So Chris CCH, like a lot of people forgot about this guy. But he came and showed. He's always been a threat. Uh -huh. Right? He went to Red Bull Kumite, mm. killed it there. Mm -hmm. Right? And now he came here. He's like, bro, I heard Daigo's coming. 
and I'm trying to defend the town. I'm trying to defend the city. Right. I'm trying to defend the Pacific Northwest region. Yes. And he did the it. PNW. P That's right. N -W. Really, I mean, I don't think they're like official, but like Seattle and Vancouver basically like sister cities in a lot of ways. So yeah. it's 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 all love up here in the Pacific Northwest. And what a way to Amazing set, amazing and I love the evolution. Right we saw the the most um, refined, yeah. kind of polite neutral in that winner set, and then yeah, we saw him get down and dirty. Yeah, you know, and you know, big shout out to Daigo too, man. Oh, like, okay. coming, yes. coming, coming all the way, but. I, 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 do they got something to say on the stage? We can, we can go straight there. We could kick it right over to Dom. That's right. All right, sick. Let's get it. So, what an amazing, amazing, amazing final set, y'all. That was that was incredible. Oh my gosh. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. What the fuck? Yes, make some noise for these. Make some noise. Yes, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So the jersey. The jersey and the medal. Go ahead, go ahead, do your thing. Yeah. Get right. Take your time, it's all good. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Our champion, Chris C.H., hailing from Seattle. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed, yes, indeed. Great work, great work. Thank you guys so much for coming out. We really appreciate y'all spending some time with us. Go ahead and enjoy, enjoy the rest of the evening. We'll be back at Tampa Never Sleeps tomorrow for Tekken and some more Battle of DC. Oh, they gave out hockey jerseys? That's that's so good. I love that. Battle of BC hockey jerseys. That was lit. That was godlike. But like I said, big shout out to Chris CCH for coming out showcasing his skill, saying, yo, why did you forget me? Do not forget Do about not me. Do not forget about me. That's right. And, we, you know, he comes back, beats Daigo two sets. How many people can they say they can beat Daigo in two sets? That's, you know, it's funny. You met, that is kind of the thing people say about Daigo. Is like, you know, the longer the set, yeah. kind of the better he is. The better he is. Um, But, yeah, Chris CCH trying to disprove that narrative. He and tilted him. He literally, he literally him. got him on tilt. He literally did tilt Because him. all of a sudden, Daigo started doing dragon lashes, t like, for Bro, days. Bro, it was... If it was anybody else, it wouldn't even be a question. If it yeah. was anyone except Daigo, we would li like it would be 100% like, yeah, oh, he's tilted. It's only because it's Daigo we're, we're thinking like, is it a question? Like maybe it's maybe. like a tactical thing. I don't know, but I, I think you, I think you're saying it, man. Yeah, for I think, sure. I think it was kind of like a little tilt going on. Uh, because, Had to have been because the amount of Chris CCH ODDPs, it it eventually hit the second set. It, the second set, it hit it hit. 100% of, of the time. 100% of the time. 100% of the time. Anytime he had meter, ODDP mm -hmm. worked, 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 worked. So I think at that point, and he was the one blocking Daigo's ODDP. Yes. Blocking Daigo's uh, reacted to the Dragon Lashes. First it was with the, the Shoryukens, and then eventually he got the, you know, kind of worked up the nerf to drive impact. Big boy damage. B big Look boy damage, Look yeah. Look how much damage that Please was. Please stop Dragon Lashing me. Look at that damage. Ooh. And it, it, even, I remember, like, I don't know if it was the final round, but there was a moment that was really good for Yeah, Daigo. that was good. There was a moment where, um, and it was like a pretty obvious jump in, and Daigo just kind of didn't react. And yeah, thought, oh. he, 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 was, he was missing a lot of GPs Not, in that situation. But Chris Z's jump ins were good. Like, yes. He, because he landed a lot of jump ins in yes. general. But there's two sides to the jump in. Yeah, there's the anti air, but like, I mean, we were talking about earlier with like Guy Guy, for example. You got to yeah. find that window. Find that. Um, it was really funny. Daigo was really, like, I feel like in that first set especially, he was doing a really good job with, like, the walk forwards, and he was really winning that war. Uh, he had some really godlike, like, he would just yeah, get yeah. him with the crouch forward. Um, but, yeah, Chris CC actually really played Daigo's game, uh, and, and, yeah, kind of won the mental war, which was very impressive. He won the mental warfare, and then eventually he was like, all right, we're done playing solid. Let's play a little nutty. Let's play a little nutty. Right? Let's yeah. play a little nutty. Yeah. And Chris CCH, I mean, he played solid during the nutty. He yeah. was able to force Daigo to play way more nuttier. He, yes. Way, way more nuttier. It was actually... He made Daigo look like a rank can. Yeah, like you wouldn't... You, like if you didn't have the names on the screen, you wouldn't know. You, you wouldn't, wouldn't know. You would not have guessed that was Daigo playing. That's how you it would felt not. to me. You would, that's how... No, for sure. For sure. It was just crazy. 
<laughs> Which is crazy. But, but Chris CCH, look at him. The champion. He's in, he he's deserves it. He deserves taking this picture. Maybe you get the 1600 MR of Ed. Who knows? Okay, yeah, that's but the next goal. The Today next we goal. beat Daigo. Tomorrow. 1600 MR Ed, that's right? right. That 1520 not looking good. But that's why his Luke, though, legend rank Luke right that there. That legend rank Luke. Legend, legend rank Luke. Luke. I mean, he killed it. I'm actually so happy to see just Chris CCH. He's mm -hmm. one of those guys that I always like, man, this guy right here, he's so good. He's got something special. He's got something special right yep. here. Yep, yep. Yeah. He's happy. He probably Top doesn't, of the really, world right probably doesn't now. even watch hockey, but now he likes hockey. Probably doesn't even watch hockey. Right. Up here, you... Up here, you low-key have to. Oh, you want to you want to interview Chris Yeah, I can interview. Okay, you interview. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him the hip right. headset right here. Come on here, Yo. Chris. You want me to talk to you? I don't want you to talk to me. Let's, let's talk to the champ, bro. You're the champion. I would never ask any questions like, you know, outside that. How's it feel, bro? You feel good? I do feel good. Yeah. Uh, How did you I, make uh, Daigo tilt? I don't know what happened. You saw that, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> and it, what was upsetting me? Well, it was starting to tilt me because it was working. Yeah. <laughs> I got hit by like every dragon lash. I don't know if his strategy was just like. He was wanted to see if it would work, and it kind of was for a second. But I think he's kind of slowed down after I drive impacted a couple. He cut it out. But I was like, the the hard part is, um, like playing on PS5 and everything. The timing is slightly different, and it's not a huge deal for most things. But when you're trying to do a reactionary perfect parry, yeah, I get it's it. It's so hard. So you saw me just keep doing. I pretty much do like someone of an OS where I do the parry, and then if I get regular parry, I always do drive reversal. Yes. I just couldn't get the perfect parry at all. Yeah. And normally when I'm playing against Ken, I don't want to look for like those harder options like the DP or the D, uh, DI against Dragon Lash. Yeah. So I was being very stubborn about sticking to the options I normally do, but then I was like, it's not working. I have to just look really hard for it and go for like the harder reaction option. There was layers. I mean, you went, you tried to go for a drive parry, didn't work out. That's why your driver was singing a lot, like you said. Mm. And you DP'd. And I'm like, Daigo's going to still keep doing it because that damage is not enough. Yeah. And then you did drive impact. I'm like, yeah, he's not going to do it again. He did it again. <laughs> he's right? doing, he needed to see two of them. Yeah, he Once had he's to see two of them. One, he, he he's like, maybe that's a fluke. <laughs> yeah. Right? Maybe that's a fluke. But you played amazing. The fact that eventually all your OD DPs hit. Like, it just hit. And Daigo didn't, couldn't have a read. But you had a read on his OD DPs as well, too. So it was just amazing because, one, you played his game first. Like, you were winning, playing the neutral, and you won the neutral, and you caused that kind of, like, to scatter and make him really doubt himself, and he needed to change up his game plan. So I think you did a great job, and I always tell people, bro, why do they forget about you They're like that? <laughs> they they, they got to put respect on your name, and they did. Maybe not the Ed, the 1520, what? but... What? No! The 1520 MRN. My Ed was not looking good. It was just because my anti-ears suck, and the character's anti-ears are too hard. That's is, the only reason. Is, if I had good anti-ears, my Ed would have been cooking. I mean, that's... It would have cooked. I mean, your Luke cooked, that's for sure. My Luke did cook. But I do understand why people have kind of forgotten about me because I have stopped streaming and I stopped entering a lot of tournaments. Uh, I mean, I do work full time now, so yeah. it's a little bit more difficult yeah. than back in five when I was a, a child with no responsibilities yeah. at all. Um, but I think now, now that I'm like not streaming, I've kind of given up on doing any sort of content stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think I'm actually happier with that and then just being a full time competitor. So if people don't really recognize me, I don't care too much. But I'm going to try to enter more tournaments now, and I'm, I'm glad. I think this is probably my first really uh, big win in Street Fighter Six. No, you, yeah, you killed it. Obviously, Seattle, like, you guys host tournaments there. You know, you, Danny Fam, and a bunch of all the Seattle scenes. I see $1,000 tournaments here and there. They're trying to build the scene, so keep, keep building the scene. I always tell people, you cook the Pacific Northwest region. You're, like, the leader of it. So bring that out. CPT, whatever, whatever happens next year, I think you're going to qualify for Capcom Cup because, you know, obviously it's very hard to qualify for Capcom Cup with the current structure. But in general, I mean, today you showcase. You defended Canada. I did. I did Even it for though Canada. you're not Canadian. I, I told you guys I would defend Canada. At this point, I, I basically am Canadian. Yeah, I, I mean, remember Evo, I, I, uh, when I was about to play against Joe Rogan, I said, whoever wins this is the best player in Canada. <laughs> and I won the set. And okay. I just keep proving that I'm the best player in Canada. Yeah, you so keep I'm, I'm here that. to defend the whole country. All right, man. But good job, bro. You did Thank good. You. you know, enjoy the food, night market, everything like that. But other than that, uh, we will see you tomorrow for Tekken 8. Tekken 8, the whole tournament will be tomorrow for Tampa Never Sleeps. We'll see you soon. Have a great night. Peace. Peace.